It all started in 1978 when I let people make a Star Wars TV special. The holiday special. I remember. It came out so bad. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Do you remember making this Christmas special? No, you don't remember it? <laughs> After all these years, the film is still saying, Mark, we should be talking about it. Nobody is not to mention. It is so bad. It's not good. What if I were to tell you that I had a little piece of tape right now? <laughs> You are about to see the worst half hour of television ever. This is what would happen if you gave a roving band of hippies expensive TV equipment and said, go make us a Star Wars Christmas special. Wait a minute, I don't like the looks of this. The Star Wars Holiday Special. If someone was telling you you're doing a Star Wars special, you probably wouldn't think that Maud would be one of the guest stars. I mean, I was never into the whole Star Wars thing, so. The holiday special is, is definitely canon. I love the holiday special. It's completely mental. It's really the definition of cringeworthy. Instantly, it's a punchline. We thought that this was going to be one of the great annual reruns. They didn't tell the people this was not Star Wars the movie, too. <laughs> Television shows generally don't run on the same kind of budget as this film. This was a children's variety special. The whole purpose is to sell toys to kids. The central characters were the Wookiees. They sound like fat people having orgasms. <laughs> Trust me, I know. This is just a one-off special. <laughs> one-off, it never aired again. After it aired, it was hard to find a copy of it. Holy Kenobi, the legend is true! All I heard was he tried to buy the negatives and never ever showed this again. Denying it makes it more popular. This. Every Star Wars fan should see this thing. <laughs> sometimes the magic happens and sometimes it's the Star Wars holiday special. Say that again. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to... Thursday Night Live with Bill Tucci. Behold his mighty hand. Tucci gang, 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 gang, gang. Just want to manage expectations. <laughs> this is the worst. Got the guns ready. Happy Life Day, everybody. Oh, happy Life Day. Yeah. Happy Life Day. Fucking happy, nerds. Happy, happy life, day. life Day. What is that? What is that? that what was, the hell are you talking was, about? That was, was a talking? celebration from the holiday special. It was Life Day. Oh. oh it was like the... Niall, I didn't know that you went live because <laughs> I was trying to Were you? commercial. <laughs> I was sitting there going, this guy thinks I can hit play for him, I bet. I bet you well, think so. I, I well, that's what I think you're going to do. Anyway, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Thursday Night Live with Billy Tucci. Of course, I got my my trusty man about town, Nal Scala. Of course, the one, the only, the immortal, Brian Blevins. What's up? That's me. And that's our new me. associate producer, Vaughn. Oh, Vaughn Coleman. What's up, Vaughn Coleman? Coming to you live. Fired. You're fired. Coming live to you oh. from his bedroom, apparently. Yeah. yeah. He's so grounded, actually, so he wasn't able to go it. use the computer downstairs. Dude, that, that bro, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I need new setup, isn't it? Blevins, I'm digging. The, uh, Blevins, I'm digging the background, man. Dude, thanks. Yeah, I still have still have way more to do to it, but uh, but yeah, I got lights and stuff too. It's crazy. Nice. 
nice. Yeah. You got to get that stripper pole in view. That thing's freaking awesome. It's got LEDs there, oh, inside it and it flickers all around. I love it. Yeah, it's being used right hard. now to make this thing go a lot smoother. It's being used Sean, right now. So. Sean's on it right yeah, now. I think, Sean. yeah. do, you, do you guys want to see? I'll, I'll show you. Uh, nah, I better not. I, better yeah. not. Like, yeah. I think Debbie's putting hers on. Craig's Clapping like, those actually. cheeks. What? What's up, everybody? Citizen Ronan, Randy Howell, Cryptic Comics, Professor Kevin Ryan. What's up, Kev? How you doing, pal? It's good to see you. Dude, uh, Mayor Al Ronan. Nickerson. Argonaut. Jay Argonaut. I like the Argonaut. Dan Gen Genovese, of course, oh, our yeah. brother. Citizen Ronan, I said. Renee, good to see you, buddy. Mullet Turtle. I like to see a picture of Mullet Turtle. Luke. Luke, the most with you. Um, guys, we're going to have a fun show today because the pit is about to hit the fans, ain't it, y'all? Yes. It's time to take yes. a pit stop, people. Oh, oh no. I stole that from the chat. I did. This show is going to be the pit. Mm. Oh, oh. No, no, no. oh. All right. Well, we're at the <laughs> come on, anyway. Billy. Let's go. Let's try to get all the things. So we got a great guest tonight on Thursday Night Live with Bill Tucci. And I'm glad Incredible. you guys join us. My, my compadres down here. But uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to introduce our guests of honor. Then we're going to bring in our pals. Um, and we're gonna be we're gonna go for about an hour tops, forty five minutes. We got a lot of interesting things about story of Pitt, one of the most beloved comics that that we've ever seen. Yes. And we're gonna talk about how the about its creation. About we're gonna introduce introduce Dale Keown. Talk about his career in comics. Talk about his life. You talk about why. Yes. When offered to be the seventh member of Image Comics. Turn, reluctantly turned it down, and that's going to be a good story. But so, guys, without further ado, or a don't, the man of the hour, the Maharishi. The Maharishi. Let's take a pit stop with old Dale Keown. What's hey, up? What's up? Oh, what's what are you up? doing, man? Good what's to up? see you. Thanks for having me. How's life in Canada? Yeah, look at this. I'm all patriotic and stuff. Yeah. Dude, yeah, man. Hail Canada. America's hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That hat's about to fall off. <laughs> hey, uh, we can got you guys can you guys invade us, please? Well, that's you know well, Yeah, we'll is, we'll sneak in from behind. Need, yeah, we, we need the US to invade us to save us from ourselves. Yeah, I before World War I, I think actually before the Spanish American War, Theodore Roosevelt actually wanted to declare war on England and invade Canada. <laughs> yeah, because of the <laughs> part of England. It's we'll bring our health care yeah. up there to you. We'll it's bring not bad, yeah. Care. It's not yeah. bad. That's, that's not bad. We got 30 million people. There's like more Don't people in New York City than in that whole state, that whole country. But anyway, good no. to see you guys. I'm bro. Right now, we're going to introduce a couple of friends of ours. The first is your publishing partner on this new, yeah. incredible, exciting news. Partner in Man, crime. to take the helm. Uh, Mr. Badass himself, the tattooed wonder. The uh, oh, look at this. We have the the Viking and his maiden and his uh, shield maiden queen. Guys, uh, so happy to introduce Patrick and Whitney Parnell. Oh, What's my that? God. What? The stream oh God, finally Whitney. looks good now. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's better. That's I, don't about, I don't know about publishing partner. We're just, I'm like his, his wingman. I'm just, wingman. I'm just helping, helping Dale out. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Well, then, <laughs> whatever you got to say, Patrick. Well, how about another wingman? You, got, you can't go wrong with uh -oh. these two wingmen. One yeah. of them is probably the most excitable of all comic creators out there. Um, and a man who could kill you with a with a chop to the neck or yeah. a kick to the face. Yep. One of the one or of the kings of, of crowdfunding. Style. One of the kings of Indiegogo. A king himself, a CG king. Our friend, someone who I sadly I was on a couple of panels with him, but I don't remember him <laughs> uh, because he was fat, and I didn't like fat people. I get it. So wow. I, wow. That explains yeah, we so get it. much. No, my friend, you know, my friend, so my brother, <laughs> Shane Davis. Oh, what is Shane that? Shane Davis. What? Ooh. What? Shane Davis. <laughs> a little, little product placement there. Shane, that that product product. track suit. What's up? I should have done that. Little product placement. Yes. What's up, Billy? Yes, I was fat, and you were like, "Get the fuck out of my way, fatty!" And I was like, "I just need to use the bathroom, Billy." <laughs> I was not. Billy calls me. He said, and "Fatty's he goes, hey, last." That's what you said, like, Billy. You know, he said, "Fatty's <laughs> last." Well, Blevins is healthy. And he's one of my best friends, man. So yeah, you know. he calls me. He's like, "Hey, Blevins, how you doing today? Still fat?" And I'm like, 
I guess, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Billy, I guess, yeah. Well, we all can't look like Patrick know. Thomas Barnell, so yeah. can I say? Oh, That's good to meet you, Brett. Good to meet you, finally. All right, so, uh, and, and guys, another one, the first man himself, but the last man in and on this thread, one of the professionals, one of the kings, Andy Smith. Andy what Smith! Is Andy? What is up, everybody? Oh, How are you doing, man? How are you? Doing good, good Dale. Hey, That's you know, a, Billy, you're not the only one. I sat next to a fat Shane Davis at a convention as well. Yeah. <laughs> y'all just y'all double teamed him. It's like a no. Yeah. Like so, so Shane, the thing is, we don't have a problem with you. We love you. We had yeah. a problem with Fat Shane then, right? Mm. Didn't like yeah, exactly. Like? No, Shane, I, I'm they like Fat Shane better though. I don't know why. I think Fat Shane's probably happier, right? They were confused happier. With Pat yeah. Gleason, Fat right? Shane Wasn't had that? a full belly. That is I was a happier person. So now you're I'll starving yourself, right? Yeah, that's right. Constantly. Maybe I need after to quit I'm drinking. Maybe I need I'm to quit drinking show. these big things of butter. Like, yeah, after, yeah, big things. <laughs> drinking these chicken. big things. After, I just after 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 that show, I have to go run four miles, Billy. <laughs> Holy crap! Good I'm lord, I can't do that. Miles. In a so sweat like suit. Eat, like, you have a special suit you run in. Uh, I I do. It's but, like a, uh, it looks like a like a black like a hefty bag garbage bag. <laughs> well, no, I wear two. That's on the outer level, but I have like what looks like a wet suit, like uh -huh. that I zip up. That's like a tight body suit. A, a man girdle. Suit. Somebody it's not please a man girdle. <laughs> That's extra. Put it, put it on for us. Yeah, go yeah, put it on. Mom, he's he's, he's like, gonna have to go that. get it. He's gonna go put it on. The handsome Model and young Shane Davis. Guys, look how I have to I just have to point something out here. Look how and Patrick, you look great, but my goodness. Yeah, look she should be more this you way. look, Whitney. Look at Whitney. Oh, yeah, no, 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 it's been a very long day. <laughs> uh -huh. She's like, like zoom out, bro. You. Patrick <laughs> yeah. Thomas Parnell, you you old scamp, you you lucky dog. Anyway, so guys, we're here to celebrate. Like so we so last <laughs> night on um, Shane's uh, show, uh, uh, we we introduced the idea and let the world know that that Dale Keown yeah. is putting out, with the help of some friends, a, yeah. a premium, oversized, full color, four hundred and sixty six page. Oh hit yeah, on the bus edition, bro. Yeah. Well, I, you're yeah. long awaited. What? So, what kind of convince you, Patrick? Did you convince I, him? Whitney, did you? Shane, did you? Like, so, what, <laughs> what do we have to do to get this bum over the hump to do his dang book? First of yeah. all, I'm lazy. I'm very lazy. Oh, yeah, it's it's hard to get Dale motivated. Yeah, he they had like, the light of fire. I, 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 I had to hit him up multiple times to get him to do the Indiegogo setup, and he and and we did it together, like live. I like walked I him through. I was like, share your screen. I was like, hit that. Now hit that. But I mean, the whole thing started actually. We like from talking with you, Billy, when uh, when Whitney and I went and hung out with you, um, you know, right. a, a, a couple of weeks ago. Oh. Uh, you know, like the whole the whole light bulb kind of turned on like that day. You know, <laughs> and it was like, uh, you know, Dale's been here. He's been put in the work. Uh, and it's time for him. I mean, I, I think people want that pit on the bus really bad, and I think it's time to kind of give give Dale that W. Um, oh, yeah. So, so, oh, yeah. so we're just gonna we're just gonna combine forces. You know, Billy's gonna help out. Uh, Whitney's gonna help out with fulfillment. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm gonna help out like um, designing the the Indiegogo Kickstarter campaigns. Um, and you know, I think we're all just gonna help out in this. You know, and it's like we're all gonna get it done. Um, and it's Thank gonna be great. That, by the way, no with problem. A help from our friends. The, the brain man just thanks you. <laughs> the praying mantis. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, no, we're all in this together. We're all we're all here to help one another. It reminds me of the '90s when I first started. Yes. And it, bro, you remember those days? Oh, I mean, dude. you had the image guys, and and yeah, and some, so and then I, for some reason, was kind of embraced by all of those guys well, too. Absolutely. I think because uh, everybody knew. everybody loved you back then. People yeah. love you now. Yeah, well, like, it was good, but like we Jesus. all helped each other out from the image yeah. comics guys to. Jeff Smith to Terry Moore, you know, to Brian Polito. You know, we were all like, like, okay, what if you do this? What if you know we'd have these these powwows in the bars and stuff, and yeah, and have crossovers formed and stuff like that, and just good. A no, lot of that Dan, happened. Dan, Dan, Dan has it right in the chat. He said everyone is grabbing an oar. This is this is like one of those Viking ships where you see yeah, like bro. like every the, all like yeah. there's like a hundred oars going on at the same time. That's that's what this is gonna be like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tired already. Now, Dale. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, there it is. Oh, nice. Man, I didn't, I didn't know it was so low cut. It's a scoop. It is. It's a scoop. It, is. it looks like a singlet. Why do you wow, wear that shit. when you run? You, you look like a wrestler from like 1890. It's like he's more streamlined. <laughs> if, you get the, if you paint white stripes on it, he'll look like he's, he's, he's going to the back. beach in 1920. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> So but out of respect to Whitney, I'm gonna turn my camera off now. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you know what? You, 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 you wanted to put it on now. Yeah, we all want to see your spank. Yeah, you don't want to show yeah. the abs. It's not the... a spank. It's like <laughs> it's a spank. For working out, Whitney. It really I, looks I think good. he's trying to say Whitney. He's afraid it might turn you on a little too much. Oh, That's what I got. Right. Here, I like I look, Patrick. That's I'm like not trying to warm her up for her you. I mean, come on. <laughs> Damn. Shit. And you get spanks. <laughs> Shane, did you? So I assume Shane, you gave up on the race to two twenty or whatever it is, two eighteen. Yeah, no, I'm cutting back down. I, I I gained a little bit of weight. I want to get back to like one eighty. Cut and wait. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm 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 presently I'm about one eighty four, and my goal is by the time I see you, Andy Smith. Yeah. In June at Heroes Con is uh, oh, I'll yeah. be one sixty. Hmm. Once. Wow. Wow. You're gonna Jesus. do that. Yeah, I think I could do it. That's how much? How, how far away is that? About twenty-four Ten? pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I could do, do it. it. Oh, that's I a good weight for you. Yeah, that's that's you weigh, weight for me. That's I, the weight. That's how much you weighed back when you had like the, uh, the idol pictures. Yeah, hair. Exactly. That's gonna be a fun. The buy level. Rock, rocks the buy level. Yeah. The, thank no, you. Nice. It was a buy level. Who said the buy level? The buy level. Now it was definitely buy level. Was it a mullet? Well, we do Bible. hot yoga Bad twice ass. a week. Rock so he'll get there. But uh, I, you know, did you guys see my post about that fucking Jake Ryan, uh, sixteen candles? Yes. Last Sunday, so you know, me and the boys, we watched uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Now, Whitney is way before oh, you were born, so, so I know you're not going to understand what we're talking about. But uh, <laughs> nice, Dan Genovese. So uh, we're watching. Uh, you know, so we I showed the boys. Um, First Bueller's Day Off. So they're like, Dad, let's watch another 80s movie, but this time with Mom. So Debbie's like, we got to watch 16 Candles. I'm like, that's what I would have said. I realized why she wanted to see that. Every time that freaking Jake Ryan guy cat on, she's sighing. She's smiling. (laughs) Matthew's like, he looks like he's 40. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I know. It's funny seeing those those, those type of movies where, like, they're playing teenagers, but they're, like, clearly, like, 30 years old. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. even go back and look at, like, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. Half of them look like, like, FBI agents, like, posing as high school students. Yeah. 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 So he was, he because then I looked up, he was 20, he was 23, and apparently he's a great guy. He's a, a, you know, the actor plays him, Mike, his name is Michael, a a German last name. And, Mm. uh, but Whitney, you, have you seen 16 Candles? I, I might Molly have that Ringwald? one confused with Pretty and Pink. Yes. Yeah, well, Sixteen oh, Candles yeah, had the, 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 the yeah, Vision that one, yeah. Quest. That's no? a John Hughes movie, isn't All it? Right. Yeah, yeah, Vision Quest was he was in uh, Michael Scholling or something like that. But anyway, apparently, he's a he's an awesome guy. But my wife, oh my god, she was like, so Matthew, <laughs> so I see Matthew's a little a little uh, jealous, you know, mm-hmm. and then he and then Matthew goes, uh, he's creepy. <laughs> it was He's beautiful. She got all mad and yelled at me. <laughs> like holy shit, Dad. But, uh, but that was that was that. I, I, I like the Breakfast Club. That's one of my. Yeah, yeah that was very good. Yeah. That's yeah. Ferris Bueller is uh, great too. Fast Times, yeah. great. I tell you what, I loved uh, Daphne Zunica and Vision Quest. Yeah, that wasn't Daphne Zunica. We're up. Was, what? Um, uh, 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 Fiorentino, Linda Fiorentino. Oh yeah. Yes, and you. Shit, I haven't seen that. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen Vision Quest. I haven't seen Vision Quest. I was testing your 80s movie knowledge. I'm sure. Anyway, so, yeah. so oh, Dale Keown. Hello. A quick thing, bro. Mm. How did you, you know, we you, we know that you, you got into comics. I want to learn, I, and everyone wants to know, how did you get into comics? How did you start? What got you working at Marvel doing the, the Hulk? And then, if you can, segue into the creation of Pitt. Uh, but after your Marvel thing, I want to talk, before we do segue of Pitt, we then have to move to the to the to the image question. Right. So, uh, That's a lot of talking. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> here, while, while you talk, we'll put it's not Andy my. Up. It's here, not we'll my forte. It's not my. I can forte. see my reflection. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I saw myself there. I thought that was oh, the I, stage I, lighting. It's okay. Right it's what's there for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I've always drawn my whole life, though. You know. 
Mm -hmm. I was a kid in high school and uh you know i was playing music even when i was on the road i used to play bass in a band we travel all over northern ontario called it the toilet bowl tour nice. for a couple of reasons nice. um <laughs> and uh but i would always like you know instead of partying i would just draw in the room you know guys would come back drawing still drawing so i always i always drew and then when the last band i was in broke up i was going to join a band i was going to jo join a heart cover band Mm -hmm. I oh, like shoot. dude but, I, but I, I was watching the news and there was a story about a canadian comic book company i'm like really there's a canadian comic book i had no idea so the next day i brought my stuff down and they hired me well that was easy yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> apparently i was better than i thought or the, all the artists there were really bad i don't know yeah. so then, how did you end up working for marvel well marvel that was you know it's funny because i because i really got a lot better just drawing like these independent black and white comic books. I was getting into a lot of inking. That was that was that was Samurai, right? A samurai? samurai. Look at it. It's pretty bad. What? A samurai issue two. Well, I did uh, one, two. I did like ten or something. Oh, okay. But I, you know, I got into using like brush and stuff. I started to work on my inking, and somebody from Marvel saw my stuff. Actually, it was Joe Rubenstein. Hmm. Oh, really? Right? Wow. He saw like he used to pay, pick up all the independent books. Apparently, he saw my inks and he. Passed. He, he sent me to he uh, contacted me and I got me to uh, send him submissions. He's the guy that brought my submissions to every editor at Marvel. That's incredible. Oh, now you, but but you were pencils. That, your pencils, right? No, oh, those were uh, pencils and ink. Mm, yeah. oh, nice. You know, Joe's an anchor. He he sort of recognized that I was yeah. better. And then I got uh, what was the first book I ever get for Marvel? It was uh, I think it was a what the fuck issue. Remember those? Yeah. Yeah. What the issues? Uh, I did one of those, and then I did uh, Ant Man. I used to have a book called Ant Man. Yes, yeah, I, thought shit. Was, I thought it was Ant Man. I'm going, yeah, I'll do Ant Man. Yeah, I yeah, <laughs> Ant Man. I, I thought it was Ninth Man. Yeah, I it called Ant, but I thought it was pronounced Ninth. It's Nth. No, it's yeah, Nth. Nth. Dude, I don't know. Wait, is that like Nth metal, metal, right? What the, oh, what so. chain? Sorry, Shane. That was Vaughn. That, that was me. That was <laughs> no, it's Nth Man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so I did Nth Man. Nth man, like what Hawkman has, Nth metal. <laughs> well, I mean, that's I how know. you pronounce it, but yeah, that book doesn't exist anymore. So, what the hell was Nth man? I'm sorry, I, I don't I never even heard it. It was a book, you remember Ron Wagner, the artist? I remember, yeah, I was... remember, um, I remember Lyle Wagner from the Carol Burnett show, <laughs> yeah, and Wonder Woman. <laughs> and uh, who's inking it was uh, Fred Frederick. Does that guy sound familiar? Fred Fredericks, anyone? Andy yep. Smith, no, Fred Fredericks. Know yeah. Fred Fredericks. He was in. I did one issue, and I got it in before the deadline. Like you know, on the, when you first start, you're all gung ho and has yeah. energy. So I set it up. So I was, you know, you don't want to do that. You want to take your time, set <laughs> the pace. <laughs> then they think you're going to be early. But yeah, I did that, and then I was on their active list. You know, right? Yeah, like they paid me like seventy five bucks a page. That's, that's the going rate back then when you first started. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I was righteous bucks. I wasn't hardly making anything. But um, it was a Ninja Warrior book. It was written yeah. by Larry Hama too, I think. That's right, Larry Hama. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a, yeah. It was a pretty good book. Yeah. Um, I and really liked you, that book. This and day. then you ended up replacing Jeff Purvis on. Well, on that yeah, I was supposed to did, get. Does Jeff hate John you to this day? Did John Byrne was going to leave She Hulk, right? He was leaving She Hulk at that time, and they wanted me to do She Hulk. I'm like, <laughs> wow, really? Like, but I ended up getting the one book that I would want to do even more, which is they said, oh, well, we can't give you She-Hulk. And I went, oh, I guess that's the end of my career. And then he goes, but we do have the Incredible Hulk. Would you be interested in that? I'm like, <laughs> like I've got the best luck in the world. My ex-wife yeah. said I have a horseshoe up my ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's so good. She's right. Well, right now, my, my luck will probably change for the worst. Yeah, because you <laughs> that book, book, you just, you turned a page in Hulk history with yeah. that book. Yeah, we did a lot of books. To, you know, and Peter David mm -hmm. said some great things about you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Of, mm -hmm. of working with you and how you drew the way he wrote, the uh, way he, if he could draw the way he saw the character, you interpreted it. Yeah, and, rubber and uh, glue. Yeah. And, and I'm just curious, does Jeff Purvis, Pur Purvis hate you to this day? No. <laughs> you take it over? I don't think they got him off the book to get me on. I think he was leaving anyway. Okay. But yeah, you know it's funny. His, you know, his early Hulk stuff. I at the at the beginning, I didn't really like it, and then I now I like it though. Mm -hmm. You know, 
So you, I was you, I was inked by I was inked by Marie Severin. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. really? Oh nice. Holy and, crap! Right? Yeah. And then and then even with the the editor Bobby Chase said, uh, we uh, she apologized because it was such a departure from my pencil. You know? Her oh, it was. Style. I mean, I like it now. I look back. So they got uh, Bob McCloud. I love Bob McCloud. Yeah, Bob's Bob. great. Dude. Yeah, Will you oh, awesome. underrated artist. I was yeah. so Shane. bummed when he left. Yeah. Shane, I got to ask you this too, and Andy to some extent, because you've done a lot of inking, and you know, I I, I knew Marie Severin. Um, I never worked right with her. Now. She was a wonderful woman. She lived out here I by know. me, um, and her husband John. You know, legends in the comic industry. But were oh, you yeah. pissed when you saw those pages come in of that it was such a departure from your pencils? Mm. Well, me, I mean, I worked really hard. Like, I, it was like she's a totally different style than mine. I mean, yeah. Bob McLeod was perfect perfect for me and i remember when he left and i got replaced by mark farmer who's amazing oh, yeah but i didn't yeah. like mark's work as much as uh wow oh wow yeah. hmm. but I, I learned to like it but it was like his line where it was a little thicker or something yeah i didn't like it as much but i learned you know i do like it now because like, a lot so of maybe you were, draw- like were you drawing with a mechanical pencil and then maybe yeah. inking with a brush because that totally yeah. changes the entire dynamic. Yeah, I think he uses a bunch of tools. But yeah, a lot of yeah. brush work. But I was you. I was a brush work guy myself. So I just found I don't know what tools Bob McLeod used. But. It's funny because you're a brush guy when you ink, but yeah. you're so meticulous. You, you. I could tell you, you draw with mechanical. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What the fuck. Sorry. Jesus. You that blew that paint off the damn. Camera. Yeah, he just blew out his horseshoe. He, he turned off his camera to sneeze. That was very uh, <laughs> not his mic though. I, th- I, I, thought away, I thought I was away from it enough, dude. My bad. <laughs> he just blew. That was violent. Thank you. No, but have Woke you guys uh, have you have a little. gone through that yourself? That you were and, and what's and, that? And I, I wonder if because you put so much work into pencils, right? You remember you did it. You were so meticulous. Yeah. And then when they come in, they're not going to have that passion or that dedication to the page as you do. Oh well, yeah. It was the first, right. my first page. Right. too. You know, you're still hungry. Yeah. You know, that really drives you, doesn't it? You just mm-hmm. want to prove something. Yep. I, now I, I, I got to still prove something. I think. I did the same thing when I worked for, uh, when I did for Marvel, when I did heroes for hire and Tom uh, Palmer called me up. He's like, he's like, kid, you, <laughs> you, you don't have to do so much. You, you yeah. Have to work with take it easy he's like because no. i'm like you know every little thing and i'm like he's like i'm like really he's like yeah loosen up i'm like oh that'd be so great but you that, but you're so terrified you, you want to make your mark on something now you just you can scan your pencils now yeah you know? yeah that's what yeah. i do yeah i don't know how many times i've gotten inks back where i was like ah. <laughs> you know there's oh, nothing know. you can yeah. do you know you can't go back you can't unink a page yeah shane the same with you did you have that experience too was he gone? Oh, he's gone. Andy? I think I blew him away, literally. Like, he's gone. Um, <laughs> he's like, he's gone. Early, yeah, early I mean, on, I've had... it happened. Jesus, uh, I remember the first guy that was inking me, uh, he called me up. He goes, hey, so why am I inking you? And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he, this guy's going to go unnamed, but he had a very short-lived career. And uh, mm. he, uh, he, he, not because of me, they just didn't want to hire him. So he 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 uh he took every page and got God the truth is is I wasn't all that great at the beginning but um I mean I am now of course ha 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 but you know at the beginning <laughs> but uh he took every page and circled every face on the back of the board oh, so man. he could show every editor that every face he's like all those circles those were all the faces I redrew and the editors did not like it. Oh, what a comedy. Like, oh, I, I, wow. They were like, yeah, we we already have a problem with this guy before they even showed it yeah. to me. <laughs> yeah, he was making friends. And but he, he, he thought he was like, God's you know. Like, and then why wasn't he penciling if he was so good? Right? Why didn't he get he get paid extra for the uh, drawing the faces over? Is that what he was doing? I don't know. It, it was really weird. Like, I, I was like, that's such a really bad move to do. Is like, it's um, not good. Anger. It's not like, good. It didn't look still. good. No, I mean, should we bring work, but Art just on? The fact he did that. What's up, Ethan? Like, hey. What's up, Ethan? Come on in, Ethan, if yeah. you got a chance. Say, Come you know, on in. I, I have a, I have a question. Like, before you, before you left, um, Hulk to go to do Pit, were you already 
in talks with Brian Hutton or how did you? How did no, you I was, uh, no, no, I was, uh, no, no, I was, uh, all was I you or? Oh, I got a call from, uh, I got a call from Jim Lee. No, actually, I visited McFarland. He used to live on Victoria Island, Duncan, BC, right? Mm -hmm. And I was doing a convention in Victoria, and he asked me to come to his his house, right? Todd McFarland. Mm -hmm. And I show up, I show up, and it's this giant house. I'm going, You're a comic book artist. How do you live in such a big house? Like it blew me away. He's like, he's like, come inside, Bob. He goes, Yeah, you can make money. And, he, and <laughs> at that point, he was uh he was image was an idea. Right. Uh, I just watched I watched him draw this giant like he used to draw the Spider-Man pages like double. Oh, he would wow. just be just thinking and on the phone all the time. And uh, at the time, I think he was sizing me up to see if I was I was uh, image material. Mm. But I didn't know it. He kept asking these questions. about, would, You know, would you like to? <laughs> I, I, I'm so stupid. I didn't know what he was talking about. But yeah, he's uh, and that was and then he actually called me later and uh, Jim Lee called me and they asked me if I had any ideas. And I pretended. Right, I right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, you pretended that you did. Yeah. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> Fake Slow it till you make it, man. You're sitting. You're doing pit, right? You're doing. I'm sorry. You're not doing pit yet. You're doing, doing uh, um, Hulk. Hulk, Hulk, Hulk. Right. You're doing Hulk. Yeah. You're having a killer run with it. Everyone's talking about you. Yeah. I remember that time. It was phenomenal. Um, then the that phone rings good. and it's Jim Lee. Yeah. And what does he say? To President like, hey, I'm Jim, Jim Lee. Lee. And you're President like, Jim Lee, salute. He told he gave me the whole spiel and he asked if I had any ideas. You want to come over? And I was like, it was weird because I was torn because Hulk was doing so good. It was like rising, rising, rising. And I left on the way up. Just that's like the way, that's the way to do does it. That? Yeah, yeah, it is. And Hulk's your favorite character too, right? Yes. It was hard. Yeah. I wanted to keep I was supposed to do issue four hundred, but when they Oof. found out I went to image, they pulled it. They said they gave it to somebody else. It was horrible. Oh. It was no, horrible. I'm glad because Stop. at that point I wanted to start Pit. Because I'd always been sketching Pit out. Like I, I, I knew I had to come up with an idea. So I just started sketching. I wanted to come up with a visual. Ethan What's going on? came up with a visual. Don't, don't up, let me interrupt. Oh, 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 oh. All right. So yeah, Jim, Lee, Jim Lee calls you. I assume this phone call was a lot different than when Jim Lee called you, Ethan. <laughs> you remember that, phone, what? that conversation we had? Yes. Jim and Dan called you that <laughs> time? That yeah, 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 yeah. That was a soft. terrible time. And I, it, it's, <laughs> I, I laugh about it now. I, I hope you can because uh, it kind of all worked out. But that was that was a scary time. Yeah. Now he's the president of D.C. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And publisher. I think you got oh. a, I think you got an uh, income boost on that. <laughs> You got a bonus. <laughs> All right, yeah. bonus. Oh, I bet he did. So, so, Dale, you don't get so you're intrigued. They ask you to become the seventh founding member of of, of Image Comics after, of course, our friend Will's Patacio with his sister. They had some some very serious um, yeah. uh, family tragedy and all, and yeah. they wanted someone to fill that gap, and they extended out to you. Yeah, and you said no because I could have been I could have been the seventh Image guy. Yeah. Mm. And you I, said at the no, time, I yeah, I thought maybe I would have to like go to meetings and stuff, and I didn't want to have like because I have a <laughs> I have a record, <laughs> you know, a well, like a, record. like a monkey's record, like a beetle. Yeah, record? yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, with a monkey. No, um, I had a criminal record. I do still. So I was processed, and I just thought I would have a hard time because I'd had a, a couple of hard times getting across the border. One time they turned me away. It's a <laughs> yeah. horrible feeling, man. Mm. I feel like such a criminal. Dude, doing that, doing that, awesome. doing that, perp, doing That's the awesome. perp walk out of the airport. Oh. <laughs> oh, the they were trying to dig oh. out that horseshoe, man. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Like, we that was the luck. metal like, detector. Give... So then so, you come in your hall a little bit, right? You kind of like, eh. but now you see image launches. Yeah, and these guys are still after you. Well, at, at, at first, McFarland said, "Yeah, yeah, I'm here, bud. You can make thirty thousand bucks a book." And I thought. That's more than I'm making it for Hulk. If I was making like uh, an incentive for the Hulk, you know, I've got the the page rate, which isn't that really great compared to today. But also, I was making like you know an extra fifteen hundred dollars on uh, on uh, on the percentage. Yeah, I mean, now yeah. Ethan, what are those numbers back then? Hulk circa nineteen ninety three, ninety two. What are those <laughs> oh numbers? Right? I have no idea. Two hundred thousand. Yeah, 200, something like that. I think that'd be the highest ever, right? Three hundred thousand. It was pretty pretty good, but I think Jim Lee broke that record when he did that X Men book. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. he did. Well, I also had like five covers. So. Mm -hmm. Five covers, yeah. And then yeah. McFarland did was doing Spider Man at that time, breaking mm -hmm. all. He made like 
yeah, three million but, bucks on that or something. I mean, even that like Peter David run, like your run, Peter David is like yeah. generally, even if you just look up best Hulk runs of all time, it's yeah, always every single time. I told you, that. horseshoe up my ass. Yeah. Told you. <laughs> well, I think it. you're a talented mofo too, though. Oh, wow. Well deserved, bro. Well deserved. Well deserved. All right, so oh my God, how they twist your arm? Was it the money or the cash they threw at you? What twisted your arm finally? Say, get up the damn horse and let's uh, let the pit hit the fans. If you I will. just do, I just wanted to hang out with the cool guy, you know. <laughs> oh my! I mean, where I mean, Mark Silvestri, Jim Lee, Todd McFarlane, Eric Larson. <clears throat> I mean, maybe not, maybe you know not what's funny about that, though? <laughs> you know what's least funny favorite. about that, Who was your least favorite? Here's what? what's funny about that is it comes full circle. Now you're hanging out with the cool guys again. Yeah, cool. that's right. Well, that's what they oh, say. There you go. Cooler guys. And girls. Yeah, and levels girls. of cool. Here. I'm at the right at the top of the coolness. Now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so did you already have the idea for Pit in your head? No, did you already... I didn't have any ideas. <laughs> What's Dude, I, I what sketched out like. From? Why did you ask that, Blevins? Jeez. I don't know. Well, I had a well, manager. I mean, like, <laughs> like you're looking at 1992 is like when I guess the original artwork was given for like the Malibu Sun number 19 cover. Yeah. And it wasn't until it wasn't until November of 93 that that Pit came out. Yeah. You know, and uh, yeah. no, I just I was just trying to like I was, you know I said what, whatever what do you want to do I'll just I want to draw a big hulking character, mm -hmm. but I don't want him to look like the Hulk. He yeah, had hairy arms. He had he had a he, nose he was, at one point. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he had wow. a nose. I didn't even yeah. see anything. And then one day I was just like I was just erasing and I erased the nose and I went. That looks better. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like that's different. I got it. Less is more. Did the nose man? ever make it into print or no? The what? No. Never. If no, Pitt I, I erased nose, that nose, it never showed up again. If Pitt doesn't have a nose, how does he smell? And I know. Oh, horrible. Horrible. <laughs> He's got COVID, man. <laughs> well, if he has a oh. nose, it's not on his face. So how did you come up with the whole Timmy angle? That, well, that was like, you know, I always like when you see comic books and there's a real contrast between two characters. Yeah. I figured like Pitt is this like, you know, hulking creature. I thought I'd draw the complete opposite, which is like a little blonde haired boy. You know, I just like the visual of a, of a monster with like a, his friend. You know, mm -hmm. on yeah. his shoulder. Dude, I yeah. think I got They're you. like the Iron Giant. Maybe the Iron Giant was like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. That movie brings oh, yeah. Lindsay Rise away. Oh, oh my I, God. I got mad. I said, oh, my my childhood idea. favorite. Mm. Yeah, I love it that. It came one. before the Iron Giant, though. I That's think. right. Yeah. 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 So when they did it, I thought they stole my idea. Maybe mm. they did. I, I shot, I shot Pit that. around all the time. say that, I see that. Yeah. I'm going to. Was that was that dynamic around before? I mean, you know, in a yeah, way, you have like well, the Terminator with the little children. Also, uh, the the second Terminator movie was like yeah. uh, you know, a big guy with a kid. Mm -hmm. And then you had the uh, yeah. the Wolverine Kitty Pride miniseries, right? That was... Just that contract. Yeah, I love the she's contract. A, she's a teenager, like the yeah, like uh, well, he was a little kid. You I know, know. Yeah. Right. but he's kind Alex of a run. Ripped him off, I think, in Universe X or something. Like he had a version of Hulk. Yes, that was, like separated, that and, and Bruce Banner was like a little kid. And the Hulk looked very, very he, like a he kind of rode, yeah, monkey, -ish, like gorilla, gorilla like. Yeah, I, I, yeah. that was a direct ripoff of, of Pit. Yeah, for sure. yeah, but it, it yeah. just worked, you know. Yeah, just visually. Well, who helped you develop Pit, Dale? Like, or like, how did the whole concept come up with Timmy and all? How did this I, all transpire? I don't remember. I just, well, I wanted to bring in like, because he looks like a, drugs, like a human. Dale, he looks like an drugs. alien. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of weed, a lot of hashish. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just being honest, get clean with everybody. You say a lot of hashish. Nothing's hashish. changed. Nice. <laughs> Black hat. So, so, how did how did the the pinup get in Young Blood number four? No, oh, yeah, that was an actual eight page story in Young Blood. Oh uh, yeah, well, how hmm. how'd that get in there? Like, they I, you just know, came I, I don't remember. I think Rob actually asked me to do it. I remember he paid me ten grand. I was like, wow. Well, <laughs> So no, eight pages? pages. What's that? How many pages? Eight. So you that's the first you inked eight pages, got that's ten grand, eight. just sent it to them. They did the lettering, all that crap. All the all. No, the I did. The, I had the a guy letter right on the board. I was still. Mm. That was how, how long ago that was. People actually lettered, still lettered on the board. By the way, the shout out like. to uh, Brian Denham in the chat, violator, uh, violator, bad rock uh, artist from the nineties. Oh god, oh, yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> I remember that bad rock bad ass. What's up, Brian? And uh, and by the way, I believe he's uh, he served our country too. I think he was a marine. So mm, uh, no shout out. He's still a marine. Thank you for your service. Oh, that's 
Awesome. Is it okay if like a non-service bike person salutes? Yeah, I was, I was, I was debating. <laughs> I, never it. I was like, I, what you know, if I mess it up? I always up feel weird about that. Yeah, it I turns mess like Owen like Valor or something. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the funny thing, I remember yeah. Stan Lee when uh, we did that thing for him in 2016 on Veterans Day and gave him these the, the, all these awards for being a World War II veteran. I saw the picture. And uh, it was so great. And then at the end, uh, this, this what you would call it, salutes him. The captain, an Army captain was there. We all you know gave him all the flag was flown in his honor, all this stuff. And he's looking at me, he's like, what do I do? And I'm sitting there saluting him too. And I'm like, I'm like, I said, Stan. <laughs> An officer is saluting you. <laughs> salute him back. And yeah. turns around Dude, and no kidding. Him. Big old grin oh, on his face and stuff. That was that was one of my favorite Comic Con moments. <laughs> yeah, so cool. you got that helmet, right? You have that helmet signed by all those guys. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, all the wow. World War II guys. Well, the yeah. World War II vets. Yeah. 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 Oh wow, that's mm. crazy times. So. Cool. All right, so you're there. You're creating Pit in the early '90s. A lot yeah. of great comic cr characters were created in the early '90s, right, Ethan Van Skyver? Um, mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah, of, uh, it, it was a good time, right? It, she, oh, 90s yeah, is, I saw a lot of awesome. cyber fog back then. Advertising oh. and fit, yeah, yeah, we exchanged advertisements. That yes. was really kind of you. We were trying to oh, get a cover yes. out of you for the longest time, and it was that uh, you were willing, but you I, were preoccupied. And I, I, well, I what I would do that. is I would have my girlfriend Nicola answer the phones. I was like, unless, unless the house <laughs> is on fire, don't bug me. No. I spoke to her a lot, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was a, she was know, a character, man. Like the, the sad thing is, is I threw out my old Rolodex like three years ago. It's just kept, it was on my desk. I never looked at it. And now I'm so upset because I wonder if I go through that because I would have all of our phone numbers. Yeah. Back in yeah. the day. You know what I mean? Like Rolodex. Every, it's Rolodex. weird, dude. Like kids today don't even know what a roller, Rolodex is. Yeah. Like, like a little I had black no idea book. what a Rolodex is. No. Fax machine. Oh, man, no Google it. It's like Roll your contacts down. list in your phone, Vaughn. It's everything. <laughs> but, it's, yeah. but it was made of paper and it rolled over. Oh, I've seen like, these. Like, remember, remember, I've seen these before. The He's like looking, looking them up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I haven't. I've never heard of this. Remember, us, it. Uh, remember cool guys on the dating scene had a little black book? The little black book? Oh, yeah. Tiny black oh, book. Yeah. I think I still got one. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, high school, Wait, my girlfriend's in China. Black books books and up and put your back pocket. <laughs> How long is she in China for? Uh, July 9th. Yeah. Better get to work. But hey, then again, if Taiwan has it stay, it might be November 9th. Hmm. I got too much work to do. I can't partner around with that stuff. <laughs> you know? All right. Anyway, all Actually, right, I'm so getting I'm getting more work done that she's gone. Yeah. So you do, you do pit. You now all of a sudden the image guys come to you. Whose studio did it go through? Was it through Extreme? Was it that was uh Malibu? Is it Malibu or yeah, uh, Malibu. there's another name? It's yeah. Malibu than Top Cow, right? Malibu Sun. No, uh, yeah, Malibu Sun. Malibu it was uh, first. and so those guys got us going, you know. But we still, I was, I think I paid them like ten percent. So everybody's paying them ten percent because they were doing all the trafficking and all the marketing and stuff. But they did that for like a year, and then we went, we started doing it ourselves. How many copies yeah. of Pit Number One sold? Jeez, I don't know. I think it was seven hundred thousand. Holy! Ooh, shit. I know Sam, Sam Keith shit. sold a bit more than I. Did. What did? Sam Keith Max. Did Remember, that piss you off? More than Hang I. on, did that piss you yes! off? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My God, it did. No Why? Why imagine. would George the Max? Well, it had a cartoon. Yeah, the MTV. The MTV oh, this is before. Well, this is before there that. was no cartoon then. It was just like but the his, Max was just so different. I yeah, think. I, I, yeah, he would just one. do work. He would just disappear probably in his studio and just do all this like this tiny half his stuff didn't even print when you scanned it. Mm -hmm. You know. All right, so it's that so so all of a sudden you get the call. I don't know if you got the call or if you looked through previews or whatever. Wizard. When did you learn when the number when the returns came back for pit number one wow. that they were like that... almost that they were seven hundred thousand copies? I don't know. I don't know how that worked back then. I can't remember. But yeah, it was like you know I was expecting maybe two. But then you know even pit two sold like uh, three hundred thousand. Holy crap! What'd you do with you that know? money, bro? I bought a house. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, dude, that bought. was Nicola. That was Nicola. She said, "You better better buy a house." I would that, Ethan? Look at that. Hard. Back in the day, sort of what we're doing now. The you know, he owns everything. It's his own creator-owned property. He's an yeah. outlaw, doing whatever the F he <laughs> wants. An outlaw. 
and he yeah. buys a house off of his first independent comic book sale. Yeah, that dude, that's so amazing. punk rock of you. That's I so know. punk rock. <laughs> Real estate. <laughs> that's so, right. Location, location, location. We mustn't go back to the 90s, though. No. The comics gamers right. just want to go back to the 90s. That's how backwards <laughs> they are, back when people yeah. did one comic book and bought houses. Thank you. So, how how did the deal with Wildstorm work where they got pit for one of the Gen 13 ep- issues with uh, J. Scott Campbell? Yeah, that, I don't know. It was just like that. We just get a call. They would just ask if they'd use them. Was that, some was people use them without they asking. They you outright. Some some wait, hang like, on. It wasn't asking. just... It just wasn't just Gen 13. He was in like, was he in Savage Dragon? I know he was in Cyber. No, Force. I was in one of the Rob Liefeld books. Too. Yeah. He was in Cyber Force. Cyber Force, yeah. of course. Yeah. I got, to, I got to see how he really should be drawn. Yeah, yeah. she was in she was in <laughs> Gen 13 issue. And Jim Lee said, what do you want? And I said, oh, give me free fall for one of, my, one of yours from Gen 13. We just swapped it. I didn't and, think of that. But, but here's the thing. What happened is that. I asked Jim if I could use Free Fall in an atom- the Atomic. Remember Atomic Angels, Ethan? My, my book, yeah. Atomic Angels number one. I wanted Free Fall in it. And I had just done the Grifter She crossover. And this is how crazy things were. I think John Nee called me up, uh, his, his, his business man, you know, the president of Wildstorm Time, whatever. He goes, I have a check for you for $50,000. Oh. For, for using she and the and I'm like for do it I do I don't know I did a few pages, um, Travis Charest drew the issue I'm like oh. this is how nuts things are and I'm like wow. I don't want I said you don't have to pay me John just give me free fall, for my Atomic Angels and he goes yeah no you can't have free fall so he sent me to check <laughs> and then like a month later Jim Lee called me up and said we're doing Gen thirteen number thirteen and we're doing all these independent characters can I use she, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah and he goes what do you want for it I'm like. Let me use Free Fall in my Atomic Angels book. He's like, okay, fine. <laughs> Why would they say no in the first place? That's crazy. <laughs> Why? It's every, random. Every time I see John, do you know John Nee, Ethan? Oh, I love John. Yeah. John. Every I time I see met John, him. that's yeah. the first thing he says to me. He's like, I can't believe I gave you that money. <laughs> I'll have to ask him about that. Yeah, no doubt. You're like, don't pay me fifty thousand yeah, dollars. That's no free fall. But right, but right, Dale. That's how crazy things were then. Oh yeah, it was a wild. If someone offers you fifty thousand dollars, I was single. You know what I mean? I'm like, nah, just give me free yes. fall because I'll make like I'll make more grand off of that by having free fall in my comic. You know, like it was yeah. real big of business. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, we used to do that trade back and forth. I was actually working on a spawn crossover right before I left. Oh wow! Mm. Oh, what happened with that? I don't know. I left. Oh, I left because of Billy, well, Billy Billy Tushy's making bang. So I left. What was going to be? I know what the name of this series was going to be. It was going to be Chained Up. <laughs> it's going to be too many. <laughs> Dale's the only one got it because they both had chains. Never. No, I, I, know, I, got it, yeah, I know. I got it. Everybody's yeah. like, I got it. It, it wasn't left. funny, Shane, but I got it. Weed? Is that what you were talking Chain, about? Yeah, chains are a good idea in concept, but you have to draw those. Yeah, and that takes forever. Yeah, the perspective of each. Oh, guy. God. If I could put this to Andy, to Ethan, to 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 um, Dale, and to Shane, what character for a job that we had given when we were doing mainstream stuff did you despise drawing because of shit like that? Jesus, extra stuff one. like like, uh, for, yeah. like who doesn't want to draw Spider Man? That's <laughs> awesome. Or you know what I mean? That's yeah. a good yeah. question. I had yeah. interest. I had to draw. I will never draw. Anyone ask me to do a Huntress commission? No way. All those no. pouches, all that crap. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. That, Rob, Rob Liefeld did a lot of pouches. Are we like, talking like which Deathstroke was a bitch. Hang on. Deathstroke was a bitch. If you talk about the George yeah. Perez design, mm. like in, in the part that was the worst Dude, yeah. was the little capsule belt, which it wasn't even a gum belt. It was like these little capsules that he would wear as a sash. Mm-hmm. Or a yep. belt, like whatever the fuck that was. It's Damn like, dude, <laughs> it's like simplify that shit. I mean, it was just pattern on top of pattern. But then yeah. his costume influenced so many others, like you know, like Deadpool and stuff. Mm-hmm. So. Oh yeah, for me it was. Capes? You uh, like drawing capes? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. For me, it was the the Jim Lee redesigns, the new Fifty Two redesigns oh, of yeah. everything. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. all of that sucked. Yeah, uh, because you you I know how to draw flash. I was at a point where, you know, I could draw every single DC character from my head. You just say draw Huntress, draw Power Girl. Now you had to use reference. 
Now, yeah, I had to go and buy all the stupid action figures oh. you know, so that I could see where Jim Lee cut the costume yeah. with that, meaningless lines. That's absolutely true. David Finch, we were talking about that, and he's like, I had to go buy the action figures. Everybody had to go to buy the action figures. Yeah, that's a great if you looked at Jim's artwork, he didn't even he wasn't even consistent. Oh like no. page to page. And then at the end, I think they hired like Coley Hamner or somebody to do the mock-ups, trying to figure it out for everybody. And uh it was just gibberish. Like it was just lines. Yeah. I mean, I like Jim's oh, artwork, but those yeah. were some of the worst designs. Terrible ever. because it just made the simple designs more complicated in a way that didn't look good. Uh, yeah. just, it didn't look any better. I, the, right. the cleanliness of just having like uh, superheroes, DC superheroes are mostly just naked humans with mm. colors, you know, on them yeah. and you know, yeah. shorts and boots. And that really, that's what superheroes look like. But we're getting further and further away from that because of, uh, uh, you know, the, the embarrassment of that fact. You're just mm -hmm. drawing naked people. But also... Um, this desire yeah. to create characters that girls can cosplay, yeah, uh, yeah, and so like imaginative, fantastic designs like Barbara Gordon Batgirl with her high heel boots and everything, those don't make sense, you know. Yeah. She can't swing, she can, she's Batgirl, but no, now we've got to simplify her, give her a book bag, you know, give her kind of yeah, yeah. clothing with a bat symbol on it, and maybe a little half mask <laughs> over her face, and that's mostly so that. Uh, girls can cosplay. Uh, mm, for yeah. some reason, they think cosplay equals dollars for the company. I don't no. think it does. Yeah. No. Even no. when no. I was first getting no. into comics, I remember those are the lines. And even though they were the hit new thing, I was like, I'll just read the old stuff. Because it was like, why does Flash have all these lines? Like, I remember you... Dan was trying He's to explain right. it. Doesn't it make sense if Superman has Kryptonian armor? And I'm like, yeah, but then the other guys, are they wearing Kryptonian armor? They all have the same fucking the armor. Line. Trend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The armor trend was so annoying too. Um, it, it, it seemed like it was like right. trying to, you know, go side by side with like movie stuff at the same time as well. Like you know that Batman Begins like suit. I guess, but it. X Men. It, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was poorly done and executed, and it just didn't make sense. I, well, look, I understand thing. Hollywood's like spandex doesn't make sense. It doesn't work, and it's like, sure like, it works great. in comics. It works in comics. I mean, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. it's a comic. I remember Please? doing the, the new X-Men and Grant Morrison suddenly had the X-Men wearing those big Kevlar jackets, those bulky Kevlar jackets, which at first I didn't like, but they look great uh, after a while. And in the comic itself, Xavier explains, you know, it's like, look, we had you wearing the spandex before because we wanted you to look like superheroes. We wanted you to fit in with the Avengers and that, but you're not superheroes. You're now like a mutant rescue team. Mm -hmm. So they started to wear more like, they look like ambulance uniform, you know, kind <laughs> yeah. of like yeah. rather yeah. than. And every now and then, one of them would make a joke like, "You want to get out the yellow spandex again, Wolverine?" And he'd be yeah. like, "Shut up, Gene," you know, like stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. I mean, that's okay. Yeah. That kind of makes yeah. sense. But yeah. you need to explain that. And I still don't think it's superior to the spandex. I think the spandex no. is kind of even but, like the insistence well, on getting rid of the like underwear on the outside. Oh, they're like, "Oh, that's kind of embarrassing." I'm like, "No, it wasn't." Like, I, I was fine with it. Yeah. I wore that for Halloween. Like, but they insisted yeah. that it was embarrassing. Yeah, dude, I that picture, no, it wasn't. It wasn't embarrassing. It was they were trying to uh, get away from the uh, copyright stuff. Oh, is that what? It, well, that's the, the reason they gave. Yeah, they were trying to build distance between the Siegel and Schuster lawsuit with a mm. different version of Superman. Well, that's how they got rid of the Superman curl too, yeah. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. no S curl. Well, yeah, if you notice the thing right. about dread, you know, for cosplay. Uh, that they're, as you were saying, that, that that they're making costumes that that cosplayers can wear. Comic cons have changed their policies of when you go in to a um, to a venue, right? Where there's a comic book convention, it used to be there was a giant lobby, right, for these comic book conventions. If you went to a to a to a, a convention center or something like that, now you gotta show your badge before you can even get into that convention center. Because you would have at these shows, and Ethan might remember, it, the, uh, it was at um, Megacon maybe a decade ago that we were there. Shit, maybe more than that now. Um, where all you had to have at least a thousand, maybe two thousand cosplayers all come into this comic book convention. But they don't want to come into the con. They all just want to see each other. Mm -hmm. and uh, so yeah, their yeah. costumes so they're all hanging out in the vestibule of yeah. this giant comic book convention and those 
the promoters are realizing we just lost 2,000 people paying 35 bu 50 bucks each. Yeah. Yeah. Because of so that doesn't work because as you were saying the cosplayers do not translate to dollars. That, that, that no. lobby, I that remember. lobby at, at MegaCon was pretty brutal too. When you walked out that hall, like everyone would just like stood right outside that door. Yep. Remember that you could try to get out of that fucking place and. You yeah, know. I mean, uh, cosplayers are just are, are fans that are participating with their form of art. And I, mm -hmm. I think they're great and everything, but mm -hmm. I don't want to see our, the, the wonderful superheroes that we all uh, love, the way that superheroes look, um, change to suit what would be easier mm -hmm. for them to, to dress like. I don't want to see that. I think yeah. that's, uh, that's, that's that's the wrong direction. pulling the horse, yeah. Also, yeah, isn't it more accurate. impressive to see someone go above and beyond and do shit that's not practical, like the Mister Freeze at NYCC? Like, isn't that more impressive? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. yeah. But well, you look at that, like you were saying, Ethan, with that Batgirl, with her with that zip up costume and the little hat, mm -hmm. the Oof. purple one with the but she looks. She looks ordinary. How is she, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know how. Somebody There's just nothing like, special about it. No, yeah. right. Batgirl needs to look like Whitney. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, she doesn't exactly. look like <laughs> she doesn't look like uh, that in the comics anymore. She yeah. looks like a an ordinary little girl. I, I don't, you know, I'm not sure that I want to read that. that um, so. Well, no one does, obviously. Yeah, also, a lot of the cosplayers <laughs> don't read the comics, which is like fine, I guess. But like, I yeah, remember yeah. at NYCC, I was going around. And there were so many X Men costumes, and I was like, I was like, oh, you know, Chris Claremont's downstairs, and I cannot tell you how yeah. many like, who would be like. <laughs> It's a different like world. A Wolverine. Someone was like wearing. I was like, you know, the guy who did the Wolverine mini series. Like, You're like I was like, huh? never mind. <laughs> As he's sharpening his claws. Dale, did you ever see a pit cosplay? Did I? No, no. Nope. I don't know if that is that possible. I've seen. I mean, the they Hulk. can't even oh, do yeah. a good. Yeah, that's possible. They can't even do a good she hulk you know? I mean, I've <laughs> seen some Hulk. You know, the guy with the big bulk. Some people walking around with all those bulky stuff, like styrofoam mm. and stuff. It didn't look too bad. But no, I've never seen that. Well, you That'd need a amazing. six foot six dude who's like well, even like a little scaled down version. It would be kind of hard to do. Like a little kid, a little kid pit. Yeah, a little yeah, pit. Like a little pit. <laughs> little pee. A little, little pee. Kid. They could do it. I mean, they, these guys get stilts now and everything yeah. built yeah. into their suits. Yeah, that dude. That dude that did the Hulk Buster at New York Comic Con was pretty insane. Oh, oh I've that seen the pictures. Yeah, man. that's really good. How much work? That must take you like a year to do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He, I think that dude, I figured he did a Warhammer one like the year afterwards or something like that. But like that guy won a couple years in a row. But the cosplayers make any money from doing that or is it just showing off? Um, well, the girls can. Do. They get right. like yeah. Here's deals some often. Play. They get invited yeah. to premieres sometimes if they're like right. really big. Oh, you hang on. Uh, Vaughn, we remember. have uh, your girl. And you girl? hit this raven, didn't you? That one. Oh I mean, cosplay. Oh, is this one. You saw that one. That was. <laughs> oh my god. What's going on there, man? Oh, I posted that on on Twitter. Yeah, that was. I like saw that. One of the funniest. Oh, that's huge, pictures. Hulk Robin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on there, man? Oh, What's going on? Jeez, long there. I know. It's like really skinny guy with it. I mean, like they'll right they can do that. Poster. They can do pants. <laughs> they, they, yeah. Yeah. they can do pit if they can. No do excuses. That. It was Come so on, funny. I oh, Zeno the Stoic. We have Whitney here, for God's sake. Oh, sorry, Whitney. <laughs> oh, five oh, piece. Lord, great oh, character. Yeah, They're yeah, saying that that that's not Robin. That's Throbin. Throbin. Well, he was just basically old Burt Ward without the cover up. That's right. true. Yeah. yeah. Ethan Van Skyver, how excited are we all about Dale Keown finally making his 466 page yeah. pit omnibus, bro? Pulse pounding pit page. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people have been asking for it. And uh, I think yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be great. No, I'm happy about this. it. I'm excited. It's going to be awesome. I mean, be we're awesome. going 100% nostalgic here, people. Yeah, it's great for all... people that never read either. Like, I've never right. read it. All so the... it's a well, it's well, a... I think I think Shane was saying that Yanzi came across, like, someone had their pick collection on, on eBay, and it was going for a lot of money. Like, $200 for, like, an old trade. Oh, no, right. the, market, oh yeah. the market. I oh, collect shit. a lot of omnibus. I collect a lot of yeah, omnibus. And some stuff isn't collected. Like I've had to go buy like uh, Mark Texera Ghost Rider trades. They're out of print, and they, 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 I'm like paying like 60, 80 bucks for them. I mean, like the wow. price on some of these things are ridiculous. Really? 
Well, it's so, really like, hard to find the the full uh, the full bleed stuff. Like, yeah, right, yeah. the actual that's original. I think I've had a problem finding is is all the full bleed. Well, man, oh Terra Wombat, please. This is not sure if she wants to. Yeah, it should be great. <laughs> Come on. What up? Like, uh, I just I saw on uh, Andy stream. He just re he reviewed like about a year ago uh, the full bleed pit. Uh, oh, sketchbook. Keown sketchbook. Right. Yeah, that thing's incredible, and man, you can't find that anywhere either. All right, yeah. we, we we might have to grab that from you, Andy. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Green Laser posted here. Please make it the sheet omnibus size. Now that that's an oversize that we did. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it, I think it, I, I think um, that's gonna be the goal. I mean, I think yeah. you know, like you know, we talked about this, Billy. Like. Yeah. You know, everything like all the you know the the stretch goals are all going to go into the book so it's like we're going to start off normal size and the stretch goal will be oversized um you know like the stuff that you know uh brian was just talking about that andy had you know the the delkion sketch yeah. book you know that stuff might get added so i mean potentially you know uh, like the the book ribbon the the, the bookmark mm -hmm. ribbon um shane mentioned doing a slip case so everything is going to go into the book to make this like as sexy as possible. So, you yeah. know, um, it, it's all about the backers. The, the more people back it, uh, the bigger and the better the book will be. Now, I will say, you know, tomorrow night on Ballers, like we're going to for, for the sign up. First of all, everyone sign up for this um, with the sign up. There is an insane trading card you're going to get. Uh, we're going to show it tomorrow night on the Ballers. <laughs> um, but it's 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 the type of shit that's gonna make you flip. But if you sign up early, you're gonna get this trading card. But everything else, everything else is going into the book. There's there, there's no little things that come along with. It. There's no beanies. There's no uh, shirts. Although Dale should make some shirts. Um, separately, uh, separately. Yeah. I, shirt. <laughs> separately. I, think, I think you should have an. The chat was game. asking for shirts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. got your bros here. Shirt. You got Ethan right People above. Love you a good shirt. Man. Some shirt. action God figures, stinks, man. I, I think you should have an ash cam because that was like. This was one of the first big books I've had the ash can that and young blood number one, like right. yeah. beginning, like those early books. Another right. ash book. I'd love hang to see on, a solid on. color ash can. Right. Yeah. Real quick, there is a, a chat that Dale, you should address. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. will this include cyber force number three? No. So all these appearances of Pitt and other image books. No, I'm this, keeping it simple. It's right yeah, the original no. stuff. So I'm, I'm not gonna mess around with that stuff. Zero through exactly. twenty. Yeah, twenty. I yeah, I gave, 20 I gave inches, up that's 20. a lot because you can do your pit specials and crossovers. That could be your next on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But then, yeah. We, we had a ten dollar Dan, Gen Gen Dan Genovese sent us a, uh, a super chat earlier and it said, I'm here. Now the show can begin. Thank you so much, Dan, uh, for that super chat. And then, of course, Eddie Winkler for $10. Would we say, Ethan, that ain't cheap? That ain't cheap. That's what Eric July cheap? says. Yeah. Oh, Eric July says. <laughs> Hey everyone, well, with Pit Omnibus on its way, does this mean that new adventures are soon to follow? If mm. so, can you spoil some plans? Thanks, and have a great night. Thank you, my friend, for that super chat. Um, no. <laughs> That's <laughs> short right. and sweet. No, no. I, don't know, I don't know anything yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, actually, we have, oh. a, I have an idea. We have an idea. Ooh. Like a skeleton idea. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to flesh it out. Very cryptic. That's for a whole yeah. other show. See, Dale's yeah. a showman. So he back. knows not to not to let all the cats out of the bag at one He's point. He's laser oh, focused. focused. Billy, the man's laser focused on right. uh, the pit omnibus because this is uh 30 years, 30 year 30 anniversary. Years, he has a man. window, a window that's of incredible. opportunity that's here true. to hit an anniversary, and that's uh the 30 year and I mark. I have like a crazy weird question, and like this maybe maybe you other guys that are comic book pros can can answer it, but like one of the biggest things that I noticed, like when when Pitt came out, like when I was looking, you know, to see all the people that did, you know, the inks and colors, everything. One of the biggest glaring things that I saw that I've never seen in any other books was that there was a logo, a, a thing that said logo done by Chance Wolf, and that ran through the whole entire series. Oh and yeah, I never saw like a logo done by this person in any of the other comics or anything like that. So. Like yeah, nobody does. Do? That. And also, what what led to you doing your own colors? Because that well, was eventually my own colors. Yeah, uh, yeah. Didn't you do I just like? I just like working like in Photoshop. Photoshop you know, hmm. I really got into the colors in Photoshop. Otherwise, I would have had somebody else do it. But mm -hmm. back then, there was like Photoshop showed up, and all the comic books started looking better. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, the gradients and stuff. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. I just like uh, coloring. It's fun. Yeah. I got a question for you guys. Cause we've talked about, you know, like these books with collaborations and things like that. And with the great success of comics gate and all these amazing creators within the Kings and all of that, has there ever been any chatter of maybe bring some of your guys characters together in a book? Thought yeah, no. people talk about oh. <laughs> what? No, what Shane said? <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I would. That like would be quite an that. undertaking, right? I, I really would. I, I can't imagine anything more fun than than mm -hmm. you know putting she and Pitt and Cyber mm -hmm. Frog putting Johnny Phantasm, not that the Starlight Cat. Well, well, Ethan, we've had like, that before. Draft, a glorious draft. Yeah. Cordrath. Cordrath did fit in there too, sure, yeah. but not not in Glorious Rags. But every oh, other character. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> I was yeah. thinking the same thanks, thing. Thanks, Ethan. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's yeah. nice not to be included to the party, you know. Wow. It's like. Well, Ethan and I have had. Well, no, this you can come on the streams, you know. Yeah, yeah Ethan yeah. and I have had this conversation that he wanted to do um, the Cyber Frog 1998 about the events, and he's like, I don't know if you want to put. She and I would love to have she in there, but we she lived. Do that. We can do that. She for Cyber right, Frog. Cyber Frog 3, I, I would like to get you guys to do, I mean, nothing big, like two pages to show what happened in 1998 to, um, you know, to she, to Pitt, um, you know, to any know. characters that were around that we own from the 1990s. Did they live? Were they killed by the Vespas? It's up mm -hmm. to you, but I would just give you guys two pages to just show what happened in 1998 uh, oh, to cool. your guys. That's cool. I like that. They're, they do, they're uh, asking uh, for pit splashes. So like crossover. So Ethan, nah, two splashes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bugs come and the bugs get squashed on the second splash. <laughs> you have one of the Rexes. Just <laughs> yeah. One Hello, old Bean. JC Vaughn in the house. He's got a birthday in a few weeks. Oh. Mm. Another new. So Ethan, Ethan, if you don't mind me asking, with with all your success with crowdfunding, like what what do you think? Uh, how many? How many copies do you think Dale's going to sell with this pin on the best? 40. It's uh, Objection. 40. 40. <laughs> 40. <laughs> it's hard well. to say. I, I, you know, um, I think hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me take Whitney's earplugs out before she, I don't want her to know how many she's going to have to pack up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, is Whitney fulfilling this? Are you guys fulfilling this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah what, it's it's got Whitney's job. Wait, are you publishing this, Patrick? What's going no, on? No, 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 no. This, no, 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 this is Dale's was... thing. Like, we're just oh. we're just helping Dale along. It's it, it's I just want to do thing. it myself. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's great. Just to get things going, get the get the snowball rolling. Yeah. Well, Teamwork yeah, I mean, it's like work. it's like we were talking about. You know, like Dale's been hanging out in CG for a minute now, uh, and it's it's time that people get yeah. this. You know, the thirty I need, year I need the I thirty year window is closing. You know, and it'd be nice to kind of get this in people's hands, or at least yeah, funded by then. You know, um, right. and uh, it, it's going to be great. I mean, the thirty, the thirty-first anniversary doesn't sound as sexy as the thirtieth anniversary. I know it's no. cooler; it's a little bit longer, you know. But thirtieth anniversary has a nice ring, so it's yeah. a round number. We we got to we got to act now, and Dale deserves it, you know. Um, sure. And we all, everyone wants this on their shelf, so mm -hmm. yeah. we're, we're going to make it happen. Yeah, well, I, I, think gonna I think it's going to smash. I think it's going to smash. Oh, uh, I think it's going to destroy. Because oh, once, once we once we heard Dale was coming on into Comics Gate and everything, everyone was like, "Holy shit!" The pits. Hang on, yeah. I, I got, <laughs> like, I got a question. Does anybody know off top of their head like what did the Cyber Force Kickstarter do? Because that's a good hmm. measure. Is that Vaughn, on the Vaughn? get on it, Vaughn. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's intern, Va Va intern it? Vaughn, get yeah. on it, bud. <laughs> I know the oh. Witchblade ones did super well. I backed the last one. Yeah, all the way. Yeah, he's he's last not like volume four million. now. Witchblade, I think. Wow. No, it's going to be huge. And the, and the thing is, the best part about this too is that, and we've got a great team in, involved, right? Holy we've got shit. Parnells. You know, Shane and I are we're I guess we might be part of your brain trust, if you will. You're you're, you're like consultants. One hundred eighty-seven thousand seven hundred twenty-six dollars. Oh, I think it'll do higher. Uh, you'll, 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 you'll triple that. That's not high enough for you know. No. Yeah, a bad idea has a megalith. I don't know if you if you guys have seen this uh, this comic book or this no. huge kind of a. Uh, this is probably a little bit closer to what Dale's going to do. Uh, this is just day one, uh, but a megalith is uh, an enormous. If you want to show it, oh, yeah, do you have a link? Look Looks like actually I just got a refund, but. Uh, Huh? Yeah, this oh, just shit. started uh, today. Yeah, I yesterday. think you'll hit a quarter of a million. Holy wow. shit! Yeah, yeah 
And who's doing this? This is like uh, some pros here. Matt Kent from Berserker, right? So he's already a yeah. known brand. And Louis mm -hmm. LaRosa, you know him? He's a, yeah, he's a really good artist. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's like, he's got, he's an insane artist. Unfortunately, he got... Laura Martin. He mainly, Martin you only know him from Valiant Comics. That's the kind of tragedy. Good for them, man. Career. Look at this artwork oh, here. Look at amazing. the... Uh, Holy shit. Gorgeous. Yeah, Dude, that is something good, I've never man. heard of this. Yeah. Wow. Louis Look at this. Now, you shit. have to break 200,000 on your first 24 hours. Well, I mean, let's, let, that's not up to oh, Dale. Pressure. That's up to the fans. It's we'll, up to we'll, yeah, I can, uh, you know, I never count my chickens. Never. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll do something good with it, this though. This looks great. Yeah, I that does look really good. So, well, this so is. Wait, a, when's the campaign going live? Uh, I think probably about five weeks from now. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let it stew for a little bit again. Like we're gonna show off the trading card tomorrow. Uh, Kelsey's actually working on it right now. Ooh. Um, with it with some with he's doing the colors for someone very right. special. Um, and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna just let it stew, let it get out there, and we want it just to when it drops, just like people would go nuts. I mean, like the sign up list is is pretty lit already. Um, so make sure that you guys get in there and sign up. I mean. Uh, once you guys see the trading card combined with you know Dale, it's gonna be everyone's gonna freak out. Yeah, I'm yeah. so like, glad I had the high res for that. I know, thank you. <laughs> and Dale, I remember for your, Dale, remember for oh. your stretch goals, right? This is a big book. It's good. It, Whitney's gonna have to pack a bunch of these up. You're gonna have to put it all together. <laughs> Don't feel weird since everyone asks you to <clears> your <throat> friends to contribute Excuse for stretch goals. A trading okay. card by here, by by so and so, a mini print by so and so. Stick, you know, call on us, man. Yeah, Where get by it. Together, the help of my friend. That's right. Yeah, I'll, 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 Frizzetta, I'll, wait a minute. Did Frank Frazetta draw Pitt? Yeah, he drew one card. <laughs> Only one? No, because <laughs> Billy, he did a. He actually did a <laughs> cover for you, that? right? Did Frank, do a, he, it's Frank did work for you as well, right? Yes. Yeah. I wouldn't say Frank did work for me. I think that. Frank and I worked together. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I worked, Thanks I, for I, correcting Frank me. Frank didn't work for me. I Frank worked for, with Frank Frazetta. How's that? You don't work, he didn't work for anybody. He worked for himself. Yeah. Yeah, we got a two Yeah, he did chat. a card, man. Uh, I don't I have think Dale can match Art Adams numbers. I yeah. think Dale will Ooh. smash Art. Art Adams. Art Adams has a sketchbook. This is like actual like books that, that people grew Boy. up with and wanted to read. So yeah. I think it will smash that. I heard. Thank yeah. you, Jerry, right. for that $2 super chat. Thank Good you point. so much. All right, so we're looking at we're looking at 466 pages. Um, God willing, again, you got to make the, if you want to make it oversized. Like I said, Patrick, Whitney, Dale, we got to talk about the numbers. Debbie, we'll talk to you about everything because when you go up that size, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. It's yes. not the standard comic book size that all the printers are are calibrated, calibrated for. Mm -hmm. So uh, so that's got to be a major stretch goal. Yeah, um, which I have no doubt you'll hit, um, but it's got everything's got to be concise. You know what mm -hmm. I mean. And the best part about this book, though, it's all done, bro. It's yeah. All done. <laughs> <laughs> I know you probably, I know you probably won't spoil this if I ask, but is there is there any talk of a of a variant cover with some new pit art? No, I was thinking of that, but I wanted to go. Hundred percent nostalgic. That's gonna be difficult yeah. with with a with a with a with a, bear, a really thick book. The plate right. change is going to be I'm super kidding. expensive, and it's going to be super expensive for you to do a different cover. Now, what's something you can do, Dale? Yep. Another thing out there, we make a stretch goal. Again, Patrick and Whitney, you were talking about a, a bookmark, you know, the ribbon, the satin mm -hmm. bookmark. Oh, yeah. Maybe a dust jacket. But that's, again, dust, dust jacket. jackets are expensive. Or that a, could be a dust jacket or, or, or Shane you know, mentioned that maybe a slipcase would be cool, too. Mm. Yeah, slipcase would be cool because it'll protect the book, cool, yeah. you know. Especially if it was on the shelf. I love what a good slipcase. What if it was a black, like you know, the Metallica black album? Yeah, yeah. Like that Dude. you had to like hold the book a certain way to see the logo. Dude, I yeah. want to do a slipcase. I want to do a, a, a sheen got... omnibus second chance and do a slipcase. Well, I, 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 Ethan's slipcase was really awesome. That's that. That was my point of reference. Oh, okay. Oh, we got a fifty dollars super chat from Two Hundred Watt Studio. I just want to thank Shane tonight. Thank you, Shane. Yep. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> what did I you do? Gotta... You're wearing that beautiful blouse. Yeah. yeah. yeah you dress. Sorry, I'm sorry, Nile. I know we keep. Uh, we keep. You just deserve it, Shane. 
do it. We got another uh, super chat from Valdez. Trading card of Shane eating chips, please. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put that on a shirt. That's collectible. I think I broke like the Guinness World Book record yeah, for that. I ate chips dinner. for thirteen hours, Billy. <laughs> was it worth it? A variety or the same yeah. brand? Like same, same brand. Oh, yeah, same, bag. Same, bag. same bag. You just worked on it. <laughs> oh, shit. It was amazing. The party you know what size. I call, that, I call that Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> that Saturday. Well, that, that came with that bag in, in 13 minutes. <laughs> Ethan, you always look so serious on stream. He's doing Whoa. research. He's working. I know. I'm, I'm you know. multitasking. I, uh, He's doing his John I, Malin impression. Yes. Of yeah. course. No, I, you know, yeah. I, I want to represent uh, Comic Skate with dignity, Shane. You should try yeah. it. And information. Let me, let oh. me get, let me. Oh. Valuable information. <laughs> he did. He had his Spanx on. He was representing, you know, <laughs> yeah. how fit and lean Comic Skate <laughs> is, and they mean business. That's what it was uh. all about. Yeah, he missed all his karate and taekwondo moves earlier. Right, he's, he's shrinking on camera. His Krav Maga. <laughs> I think he's getting. He's going to be called Shredded Shane. No, I have really bad allergies right now. I'm sorry, Shane. Ooh, Ooh yeah. This, uh, Shane's getting farther and farther away. Look, next thing you know, he's going to disappear. Hey, look how cute Help Shane me. is. <laughs> Help me. Look at that little guy. Look at that little guy. Look I'll Shane. just keep backing off. It's like an action figure. Andy Smith, you're like twenty four dollars away from eighty four thousand dollars. I guess so. A core draft, rumor has yeah, it. including both of them. Yeah, somebody pop that bad boy up and let's. We got to get him to six figures. It's, we got to get him to six figures. How do do it? I agree. Back of I'm working right now. Look at that. That's how much oh, I love everybody. There's got to be some kind of extra perk or something that we can do to to get Andy Smith moving along. I'm just glad I got to slum it down here at the bottom with Vaughn and Andy. You oh, yeah. slum it. Slum it. It's not slum it. What are you talking about? It's bottom row, like man. Three tier situation. Right. We're holding you guys up. What's up? We're holding. That's up. right. We're good yeah. support. All we right, guys. So listen, we, foundation we, on this screen. That's what you meant to say. Yeah, That's the right. Jack yeah. Show is. A, yeah, we got. Uh, thank you, Cryptic. Yep, the Jack Show is going to be uh, starting soon on uh, John Malin's channel. Uh, everyone, tune in for that. Thank you for the two dollars super chat, guys. I want to thank you all. Uh, Dale, we are all excited. We cannot wait for the launch stream. Thank you. No, not me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm no, so we'll excited you. for it. Yeah, Thank I'm you, first. Patrick, Whitney, Billy. Oh my God. Hey, can I can I just Deborah? say like Deborah. can I just say from like a, a nerd point of view like this is awesome getting to be on here with you. I mean, like I remember buying no, pit off the shelf as a kid. I mean, it was awesome. <laughs> I just want to say it's been been great. I appreciate. Dude, it. let me tell you something. And Ethan, Gosh. I don't remember this time. And you too, Shane. I, you know, I'm buying comics, so I'm buying Pit number one, the first I don't know eight, eight, eight to ten issues. So, a year later, I'm hanging out with this dude in a bar, man, drinking, <laughs> laughing, right, <laughs> right, Chicago, right. Yeah, yeah, I was really happy that Dale's a, like a super regular guy, very nice guy for someone who is uh, talented. He has, he has. He was touched by the hand of God. Dale is a <laughs> fucking incredible. Don't forget artist. this, you know, a horseshoe. Uh, <laughs> the horseshoe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the remember the three of us were in Chicago that year. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've seen pictures time. of us hanging yeah. out together. I I don't have any memory of that. I just feel like I called you and bothered you a few times. But you know, <laughs> I've seen photographs of like me, you, and Dave Finch and Billy Tucci and everything. I, man, I'm glad I was always nice to you because you you off. always were, Dale, and then you still wouldn't be here if I was a dick. Nah, you you might. Guys, <laughs> maybe. Hey, <laughs> like I said, you guys have no idea because you remember at that Chicago Comic Con, it, we were at the hotel and the bar was like a, a big horseshoe. Yeah. Not a, like the one up your That's ass. Theme, yeah. Yeah. And we were all in the middle. Remember, all the, it was like tables and we're all in the middle by the bar yeah. hanging out. And all the fans were like in the booths on the outside, just like. Like we're in a zoo or something. And they're like, hey, so-and-so wants to buy you a beer. Oh, here's a beer, another mm -hmm. beer. And you, people just kept giving oh, yeah. you drinks and beers. Like, it, 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 was, it, it was always interesting to see who was playing pool. Because, you oh, know, yeah. they, they, there's, there's two pool tables in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were good times, man. Yeah. Just gotta, you just be lucky Bill Cosby wasn't one of those guys buying you a drink. Mm. Well, I, you know, since we've got everybody here, I think it's time to ask: Is it is it time to to finally do the uh, for the fans fest? Do we start doing that? Uh, the yeah, objective I... for that would be to think small, 
um, I'd like to crowdfund um, $100,000 to be able to rent a space um, in a hotel like in, in Orlando. Mm -hmm. uh, and just um, throw a shindig, throw a party. I mm -hmm. don't know how far $100,000 will go. Hopefully, it'll go pretty far. And if we go bigger than that, if we raise more money than that, we'll do even more stuff. But, I mean, yeah. a miniature, a convention, a comic book convention. I would do where it. Where there's an yeah. artist alley for all of the people mm -hmm. who are creating and making books and comics. And then after hours, we just party and we fellowship and we have a good time. Um, oh, yeah. With the fans, that'd be amazing. With, with, the, with fans. the fans, all of us together, yeah. a big bar at a, at a nice hotel, old school with carpeting, mm -hmm. right? The ballroom of a hotel, all of us around there. So it would just be mostly, or for the most part, all comic creators. Unless, mm -hmm. of course, if you want to have a dealer want to get in, they could buy a, a booth. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know to help with the funds, but at least it's the primary thing. What I would love to do is is all of us together. Yeah. yeah, and just all yeah. creators having a oh, great yeah. time. We then could we could cater a dinner for Saturday night. We could pay to get I don't know Flynn Flossie to come on down. <laughs> well, that would be the stretch goal. Oh, Flynn, Flynn Flossie will do it. Uh, you know, I we've got some other performers. I mean, obviously, I'd like to have Eric July there. His yeah. band mm -hmm. could play. Mm -hmm. We would just have a big, big party, and it would be. Uh, an awful lot of fun, but it would be it would be a, a miniature comic book convention. I actually I don't know if it's miniature. We'll we'll see mm -hmm. what it is. It could be big. Yeah. Would you take sponsors or would you do just crowdfunding? Uh, and, uh, however, we can get and money. We want to get money. Well, we That's can what... sell the sponsorships, Doctor. Yeah. Sell sponsorships. Sell, sponsorship. sell vendor spots if you want. But if you want to make it Our more thing. personal, maybe keep the vendors out and make it more like a big. You know, we could use. You know, no, like, we want the vendors too. Yeah. We want this to be because we want people who come in here to be able to shop and buy comics, and we want yeah. to be yeah, a yeah. close approximation of just a comic book convention. Yeah. And yeah. I think we've earned it. We've been here for five years. I think we should do it. Uh, I've been slammed. I didn't want to do anything until I really got Wreck Planet finished. I'd like to have Rainbow the Brute, you know, uh, under my belt, ready to go. But uh, it, it's time to plan it. And uh, we've got convention promoters, specifically, we got some New York promoters who already designed the show. They, they mm -hmm. said, whenever you're ready to do it, this is what the show will look like if you hire us. Uh, also, the guys from Monster Mania. Uh, who are putting on these big shows in New Jersey, in Maryland, and in Pennsylvania that are just slammed. Horror conventions. Uh, they're also fans. They're also Comicsgate. And that guy, mm -hmm. uh, he volunteered to uh, to put on the show for us in Orlando. So mm -hmm. we would learn. I, I don't know how to do a convention. I would. I, my job would be, I think, to just organize the, the promotion and crowdfunding of it and then turn the money over uh, to specialists who know what they're doing. Right. My thing would be I would want the big pros to kind of if we if we have to pay our own way there and sure. take whatever money there is for the little guy. Absolutely. So, so that, yeah. You know, yeah. we want them to have free tables and maybe we can do some kind of lotto for like uh, 10 or 20 travel hotel arrangements for like hmm. um, some of the smaller creators so that they get to be there for free because Narwhal. Narwhal, yeah, you Narwhal will make our money Narwhal back. Narwhal's killing it, though. So Narwhal's, yeah. not a, Narwhal's not necessarily a little guy, but yeah. if he were, uh, we'll make our money back. Like, we can sit there, we can make, like, a special edition cover, T-shirts and stuff like that. You know we're going to yeah. make buckets of money. We can pay our own way. But we want to have the people who are having, who aren't having that kind of effect. Hopefully, this will be free for them. And yeah, that's why right. it would be for the fans fest. Um, you know, I think it would be... Uh, a, a more kind of democratic uh, kind of a comic book convention. It should be really, really cool. These are just my ideas. I'm just yeah. sketching. That, Flor that Florida yeah. hotel, uh, which is next to the Florida, which is a part of the Florida mall in, in Orlando might be a great venue because the hotel's right there. The hotel has a big ballroom. So that might be one of the options for us. Can you get a great mall there. You know, remember? So. Yeah. Remember the hotel that we stayed at for like a Megacon with, um, uh, oh, oh, it was so cool. Darwin that's Cook was with us, and that's like a you know, that's the, the double tree had a pool and a, the yes. double tree. Did they have a ballroom? I mean, that was like a really that's nice sweet. place. Mm. I'd like, yeah, there, there, there's actually a convention coming up in October. It's called Transformers Con. Is that is that the double tree? Oh, cool. All right, I let's we can who will help me with this? Can I have a point, man? Can I get? I mean, Billy, will you help me do this? I will help you. I don't know if I can be a point man, just how we are, but I can definitely. Partners in yeah. this. I, I would like to, I really would like to do this. I feel, I'll be honest with you. I feel like I've got 
people are going to make fat jokes. I feel like I've got 20 tons on my shoulders all right. the time. I've got <laughs> so go. many responsibilities right now. But I, I, I do recognize that people are waiting for me to do this. I just need some help. So I'd love to talk to you. Patrick, you're a convention specialist at this point. You're out there at all these cons. I'd really I'd like, like your help. Uh, and we should just figure out exactly who can do what and share this. Uh, and you'll all get paid. I think everybody will, will probably be able to pay you for this. Wait, there's money? Yeah. Can I help? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. We got a $5 super chat uh, from 200 Watt Studio. EVS, oh, everything no. is under your belt. You know, 200 Watt oh. Studio. I mean, you're right when you say everything <laughs> is under my belt, if you know what I mean. Here we Thank go. You. Thank you. I would I would love to see these uh dealers, these dealers actually see a group of people that actually want to buy these uh you know crowdfunded books on the secondary market. Maybe that'll open up mm -hmm. their eyes. Yeah, I mean it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Imagine imagine going to a convention and, and not really being familiar with CG, but walking into to a CG con, it'd be like an alternate universe. Like yeah, all these yeah. all these yeah, properties like, you yeah. never heard of before. Like, yeah, oh my yeah, god, like, like, I'll be like, I got mm -hmm. Spider Man. It's like Oh, yeah, what does yeah. a ticket cost? Like what? Like we'll have to. Like this is how we're gonna crowdfund it. We'll we'll sell tickets through Indiegogo. Mm -hmm. So I it'll be like yeah, that's, that's the way tickets, to go. Like usually like twenty five a day and maybe sixty for the, for the weekend. weekend. So we do that. Like we do something no, like that. I, I personally like think that. we should if do, do a Saturday and Sunday, not Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I think we should do Saturday yeah. and Sunday. Okay. You can also Friday nights like a welcoming well, party we, where we all yes. hang out. Yeah. Yeah, 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 photo yeah. photo opportunities, cool. meet and greets, and stuff like that. You also make money on. I'm not going to charge beautiful women to take photos with me. What's well, are, are you going to wear that top chain? Right after, buddy. You got to yeah, you got to pay yeah. them. <laughs> I got to pay them. <laughs> well, and, 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 and also, like, we have to work on getting Dale down here somehow. Like, Malin's going to Malin's going to go to Canada and sneak him out or something. Well, Why can't we get Dale? Do a stretch goal. For Dale's air French cold. Every time we yeah. talk about getting Dale into the United States, I I think of the A team and how they would have to knock out Mr. T to to get him. Oh, on get him plane. on a plane. Oh yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like, why does it seem like that with Dale? Like we're gonna have to knock him <laughs> yeah, out. <laughs> Dale, what's the, the what's the reality of getting you to the states? Is it a possibility? You've been to the states before. Yeah, it, it was always hit and miss, though. You know. What does that sometimes mean? Sometimes they wouldn't ask. Well, oh. like they would, <laughs> so sometimes, big about this. I love it. Because <laughs> once you get a criminal record, you're it's always up there. Like I got, I got. I know, fine. but but if, if if you if it's that like a matter. year out, Dale, like you could put in the paperwork for work reasons to. Uh, you to can you can uh, you, have, you can go, uh, jump through some hoops and get like what they call a waiver. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like if, if you got to have somebody in the out. states vouching for you. Yeah, well, well you got all you. of us right you're, here. You're a great guy. Yeah. I got yeah, a lot Pat, of votes. You, you go to Florida, and then, and then, and then when you come over here, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna never get marry, rid of me. We're, well, we're gonna, we're gonna mm -hmm. find you a wife, and then you're gonna be an American, and then <laughs> yeah. you're gonna be <laughs> that's what I'll do. <laughs> oh, marry for citizenship. That's we'll Mary Blevins. Mary, Mary Blevins, just to get your citizenship. Yeah, whatever. I mean, you go. You know, I wonder if this event would be big enough. You could probably actually go contact the city that you want to be in and be like, hey, look, we've been trying to figure out what city. We want to have this event in and have bids for them to give you, like give event. give the event money or to have it just there. get boycotted. Like I don't. Yeah, <laughs> go either way. <laughs> I, I never think that That's pretty good. Yeah, we got a two dollars super chat from uh, Cryptic Comics. Uh, do it in Vegas and reach out to Torpedo Comics. Vegas could be fun. Yeah, John's yeah, the drummer of System of a Down. Yeah, we'll, uh, play dude. The show. So you yeah. would would John, Would you be there, John? How great would that be if John's there? Right. Yeah. Vegas is okay. It's a good party town. It's not really a good comics place. Yeah, um, I feel I feel like Eden's right. Like I think we'd be very distracted. Yeah, no, it's not even that Vegas. I want to be distracted. I just think that uh, <laughs> I've never been to a good comic book show in like Las Vegas. Like they're just yeah. the scene isn't there. In Florida, the scene is there. There are so many comic shops. They're yeah. all friendly. Comic Coliseum is yeah. friendly to our cause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, You know, all of those people are, are and it's a red state, okay? Mm -hmm. So they're going to be friendly to Comics Gate. Uh, and not only that, like, it's uh, it's a travel hub from Europe. So, you know, a lot of people coming over from the UK, like our dear Charlie's London, you know, all mm -hmm. of uh, uh, Comics Gate UK will need to come over here. Uh, 
Plus, it's a close tier to that says Disney, Prince Charlie's right? London over. How awesome would that? Well, be? yeah, it, it, it's close to like Universal, uh, yeah, water there's parks. A you know, there's all types of stuff for people to yeah. bring families. Bring your kids. Yeah. a lot of us are in our forties. Bring your kids. Bring your families over. Go to you know the the parks. Uh, go to a uh, fun spot, and we'll uh, we'll get on the. Uh, what are those go karts? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, we'll go you have these guns in, in in Kissimmee where it's like you shoot all World War II guns, you shoot fifty caliber machine guns. Yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. That. Uh, Great. Bubba chat. says, "Didn't the comic book Ow. store owner from Florida threaten you?" That was California, of course. We have out. We have Ethan. And I have allies in in Florida. We have um, uh, a couple of. You have Mike's Comic Shop. You have uh, a comic shop. It's called. You have. Um, uh, I don't know if I should say because they tried to destroy a store last time you were there, Ethan. Remember that? We did the oh, yeah. signing there. Yeah, <laughs> Gotham City Gotham uh, Comic Con. That was where uh yeah, they smashed uh they smashed a window. That was Jesus. the SJWs there. We don't care anymore. I'm not I'm not afraid of these pussies. Yeah. We're gonna go, we're gonna put on a con, we're gonna have a good time. Uh and uh yeah, it's just a matter of I need some help. I can't do it all by myself. Sure. I just yeah. everybody we gotta yeah. get together if we wanna do this. And here's the thing, I do believe since profit is always a motive and an incentive, I do believe all of us are going to make an awful lot of money from this show if we do it right. So, you know, um, there's a reason to do it, you know, beyond us. They say money? <laughs> money, yeah. yeah. Wake up, Shane. <laughs> is it what? Well, you think, just just imagine what the exclusives would be available only at oh, that yeah. show. Yeah, right. right. Mm -hmm. And for those who can't make it, and they, they would, you know, because uh, obviously, let's make it. can buy it online. We'll, 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 yeah. Set it up, they, you know. well, yeah, I mean, that's the great thing. I mean, list. I mean, not just will the con be great. I mean, like, we can do shows, there's going to be streaming going on, there's going to be Bloody fans MTV. playing, there's going to be I'll open, freak. open I'll bars through the mm -hmm. convention. Oh, that's one button naked through that convention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dale, Dale's gonna go streaking. Oh, Patrick, will you go on the ride this time? Not the first In Orlando. Ethan, Ethan, where does Arch Hall Jr. live? Florida. <laughs> he lives. Uh, <laughs> you want to get Archie to come? Archie will come yeah. now. <laughs> uh, we got a We got a two dollars super chat. Thank you, Word Word Fab Stream. Two dollars. She Ami is heavy. I think Billy used lead paper. Of course, I did. Copper and lead, baby. Kapow, kapow, kapow. Mm -hmm. So, all right, guys. Well, I want to, th Ethan, we have to continue this conversation. This is a real, oh, thank you, Patrick That's and Whitney. Um, I guess that's a, uh, just a call to continue the conversation. Weighs a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we have to have a big powwow on this. I think this can be done. We shoot for 2024 uh, down in Orlando. I love Old Town. Who doesn't love Old Town? Mm -hmm. So. Maybe and, we could do uh, it in February or something, like when it's uh, cold everywhere else. Yeah, you know that's that's the yeah. beat. That's the beat that that MegaCon really missed. Like MegaCon used to do the convention in the winter time when everyone wanted to go in Florida. Now they do it like right in the middle of summer. Makes no sense to me. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. You don't want to be in Florida. Do you think that summer. could be put together that's in hot. ten months? It's way too hot. In ten months, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, I think yeah. we go March though. I think March is better just because of February is so busy in Orlando. Okay. It might yeah, be tough I'm, getting a hotel, but March is when their spring breaks end or the winter breaks end. We yeah. get in in March. I think would be great for Easter. Be awesome. Mm -hmm. Right. And March sucks up here in the Northeast. It sucks. So yeah. let's, 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 let's say Ides of March. Let's let's do let's do March second and March third. Jeez. I like See? it. So we're choosing a date. So now the next step, March second and March third. The next step is to find a hotel. So yeah. we got to find a platform. We got to find a ballroom, uh, and preferably a hotel that's expandable. So even we're gonna we're gonna think small because we don't know what this is gonna turn out to be. We want to just what if it's one of these little shows that you know, that's fine if that's all it is because mm -hmm. it's all about a get together. So let's think small and then let's find a place that if it does grow, we can expand out and have maybe three rooms in a hotel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, like all the top of my head, I mean, like I would say the Double Tree by Sea World. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love how decisive Patrick is. No, because well, because I mean I've stayed there before, but that's where I'm going to the Transformers Con. So I, I know I know it's Transformers Con is a big con, but it's not. It, oh. Well, it's a small con, but it's not. It's like medium, you know. So it's, it's it, it's about what we're talking. So that's why I, I know you know oh, okay. I, I think it's comparable. Hey, you don't want to just just a quick Spaces interruption. Yeah. Uh, Andy uh, has passed 84k. Oh, oh, well, thank oh, you. There you go. Andy. <laughs> thank you all very much. He said, I thought you were going to say Pat. Uh, Andy has passed. 
I'm just, I'm just doing it right now. Yeah. This won't be so a swole healthy. con. It'll be an intimate con, though, for sure. There's yeah, well, we don't know idea. that. We don't know what it's going to be. I mean, it could turn out to be big, but we don't. We want to just stay. You know, like, I tell everybody to manage their expectations. What's Pitt yeah. the hardcover going to do? Well, I don't know. Let's just <laughs> no. Let's manage our expectations yeah. and be blown out of the water uh, when we see what it actually does. Same thing with this. Um, right. Let's just let's plan to make a show to have a good time. And here's the thing: no matter what, this is only the first one. So right. we just have to we have to get our beaks wet here and mm -hmm. just get kind of like adjusted to putting on a show every single year, <laughs> at least one. It's got to yeah. start somewhere. So, um, yep. yeah, have I mean, a good uh, time all the time. Yep, and we yes. definitely need a, a promoter. So Ethan, we got to talk to your buddy, okay. and uh, let's start. Uh, let's lay Should the ground. We make work. a a make a room or make a um email thread uh mm -hmm. kind of thing. A room. This is like a, an this email is like a meeting. This is like a business meeting. Yeah, wow. well, it is. Business yeah. Now, People are write it off. What? <laughs> I, think, I think it's now, a room right? to work. It is a write off. Hell yeah. 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 Write well, it March, guys, March, hope, March 2nd. Yeah. Write it down. Okay. okay. Decisive. You hear it, heard it here, people. March 2nd. Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. That's All right. Well, I'm excited. Saturday? Is that a Saturday? Is that a Saturday? Are you planning on Yeah, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday. Second so no, and third. no Friday on that? Nope. Nope. The Friday the kids might be in the pregame. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Friday yeah. night could Friday be for all the creators and everyone mixer down. So. Or something like that. Yeah, set up your set up your booths and tables Friday night, and then a mixer. Yeah. Friday they've night, we to... all just meet in the lobby of the hotel. Forget it. Yeah, they're yeah. going to <laughs> kick us out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we stay overnight Friday. Obviously, yeah. we, we show up Friday. We set up everything Friday uh, afternoon, evening, and then we're ready Saturday, Sunday. We can um, all get together and talk about girls and stuff. Heck mm. yeah. My I like favorite. girls. I like girls. <laughs> we can girls. rent the whole top floor. You guys like top. girls too, right? I like I like girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the part. Wow, Patrick. Wow. Decisive. I told you. Thanks a lot, buddy. Hey, JC yeah. Vaughn, if you want to get involved too, we'd love to have your help. Uh, and, yes. uh, you, know, you know, let's get some people. Let's yeah. let's get some people who want to start a new convention. Uh, oh, you know. Yeah. That'd be cool. Look at that young imagine guy. We end up, imagine this gets so big, we end up holding the, di the Diamond Retailer Summit at our show. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, if they want people to show up. Well, see, that's why I was asking yeah. if you want to get a sponsor. Because, you know, if you want to do a yeah. sponsor or something, because it could be something big that, that rolls into something else. Yeah. We want to be careful with sponsorships because, again, we are, you know, we are the target of social justice warriors. We don't want a sponsor who isn't based because uh they will take the sponsor down yeah. so yeah. you know yeah. if we have a sponsor we want it to be the the fucking nra or something like that <laughs> you know, because <laughs> somebody who just will will not care about what sjw say we just uh, gotta that's invite gabe he can be our uh, bodyguard we should, we should get info wars to sponsor it <laughs> no no <laughs> uh, you got you got it right it's you got it like right the fight just... club of comic cons okay yeah okay. i mean anyway they're going to target so this is this is the problem with putting on something like this we have to just make sure that we're bulletproof and just you know um that's why the retailers that are going to set up they need to be brave retailers who mm -hmm. understand uh you know and there are lots of those in florida lots of them i think phil will come from coliseum of comics i'd love to see him set up uh, and a bunch of other retailers who just don't give a damn or are not going to bend to stupid political pressure or peer pressure yeah. Uh, people like that and so we'll you know what we need to do is just show from as we always do in comics gate just show tremendous success that's what we need to do mm -hmm. tremendous irresistible success every single time and i i know we can do it we got to be on our best behavior no we don't we're gonna no, say, what? <laughs> well, no, up, up, we do up want until to friday fun. night we have to be on our best behavior then once friday comes then we can oh, tear it Yanzi's gonna come, right, Shane? Uh, no. <laughs> How do you know already? Right? I'm not even come. sure Shane wants to come. I'm gonna be a Mange Davis trip. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I. It's pulling teeth just to get me to do Tampa. Like, I, I've not missed conventions. I've not. Yeah, but like, Tampa. Uh, this is ours. different. This is ours. This is you yours. Have to do yeah. this. I know, I know, but going through TSA with carry on and stuff i'm like fuck well, right now we drive down, drive down. It, hey, yeah drive right. down to orlando come on now yeah, yeah just drive they road trip you bend 
I might do that. I might load up the Sprinter van. They got talkies in Florida, bro. They got talkies in Florida. (laughs) The Sprinter van. (laughs) I want to see that, like, like Cyberfox sticker on the side, real big, like, uh, wrap it up. Yeah, I might. I've never done it before. I've never. Well, you know, you know, you know, when you roll up to conventions, you you know, you're at a comic book convention because there's always like a van or a car or something (laughs) that has wrapped up like some type of crazy sticker on the side of it. I want to see a Cyberfox van. Somebody's saying get sponsored by Geeks and Gamers. (laughs) There you go. Do that. Get sponsored by Yingling. They're trying to sabotage. <laughs> God, that would be oh, all yingling the beer of comics con. We have a cigar <laughs> night. Oh my God, Friday right night here. cigar night. Mm-hmm. Hawaiian shirts. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be incredible. Oh, that's gonna never be a Flip flops. Come on. Heck yeah, flip flops. <laughs> Why not? Oh yeah. You know. I oh, then it's gotta be at the end of March then. <laughs> I, I didn't. Yeah. Might be a little cold well, at the beginning of March. No, I'm from Canada. I can remember. Do you guys remember <laughs> flying before 9-11, how easy it was? I remember, oh, no. I remember getting on a plane like without my license. Yeah, <laughs> just come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah says, either. I was going to go until Shane reminded me how much travel sucks. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> yeah, I know. We got we to gotta <laughs> overcome Shane's uh, depressive uh, influence on our backers here. Yeah, you don't have a good time, travel. and you need to go. Uh, and you need to go, and you need to bring books to sell, and you need to bring yourself to sign those books and do sketches mm-hmm. for your many, many, many fans. Yes, yeah, right. midget you wrestling and fan me. fest. All right, good. Excellent. Anyway, there. all right, well, guys, well, this the, the, the wheels are in motion. We're on our way. Um, guys, well, we co- I want to thank you we, all for joining. We covered a lot of stuff tonight. Oh yeah. yeah. Covered a lot of ground, and, and Dale, everyone's excited about the pit on the bus launching Thank in you, five weeks. You say maybe five, yeah, five weeks, probably weeks or so oh, next month shit. sometime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, we'll all be there. I'm I'm so looking forward to the launch party. That's gonna be a pisser. Oh, that's gonna be yeah. great. Wicked. Um, and uh, guys, well, you know, Patrick and Whitney, always great to see you guys. My brother Niall Scala, my brother Ethan Van Skyver, Shane Davis. The man hey, now yeah. with Dale Keown, and look at look at the trifecta of evil on the bottom there. You got Vaughn Coleman, <laughs> oh, yeah. Smith, the killer, and of course Dr. Blevins, my other brother. We, guys, thank you so much for joining us. What a great show! You didn't name Patrick. You didn't name Patrick. He said Patrick first. Oh, he did. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. he said Patrick uh, and Whitney. Well, yeah, yeah. he said important. Patrick and Whitney first before anybody else. Oh yeah. my bad. What's going on right, next week, stupid. Billy? Look at this. Look at look at look at her. Come on, Billy. What's going on next week <laughs> on Thursday? Night oh my Live God! With Billy so Tucci. okay, next week on next Thursday Night Live with Billy Tucci is going to be a lot of fun too. We got um, well, hell right here, man. Flash, Flash, oh. Flash. Oh. Sam L. Jones is watching his Indiegogo. Uh, Sam L. Jones saves the galaxy. <laughs> you got to get Yellow Flash to be uh, a holy crap. When did you get that, Billy? Bro, what are you talking about? What signed it to me? God, that lithograph has been sold out forever. I've been Shut trying up. to get one. Are you what? serious? I'm you dead serious. That Alex Ross Litho has been. No, we don't got. I got. I got. Oh, him. I got well, signed this to me, Debbie. Too. So yeah, I just we just met him like a month ago. He was here. Well, not he. Well, he's gonna be here next week, next Thursday night. Yeah, I'm gonna put the excited. invite out too. If you guys want to join us, we'll have a lot. Billy, of fun. you should get Yellow Flash uh, seriously to be on the that I episode. Be, I don't know. Yellow Flash says I'm down. Can you, you make know an introduction him? to me in Yellow Flash? I don't really know him personally. Yeah, you should get to know him. He's a really good yeah. YouTuber, good okay. guy. Yeah, I love. Oh, I love his 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 uh, channel and all. So yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. So next week, please join <laughs> us. Hey, yeah. what's up, bro? All right. There he is. <laughs> But he's a great guy. Oh. If any of you ever had the pleasure of meeting Sam, he is a, a prince of a man. He is so gregarious and so welcoming to the fans. And he's very excited. He's on our side. He's an ally. Mm, um, he just wants to make great comics and great content. So, That's And he cool. literally saved every one of us. He did. Thank you, Glevin. <laughs> well done. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you now. You want to take us out? All right. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys. Love we'll you all. Look, everyone on this bye panel. Bye-bye, everybody. You guys. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thank you for joining us on Pop XP. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and also click the bell for notifications when we go live and we upload some awesome new content. Also, don't forget to head on over to Twitter and follow us at the Pop XP and over on Instagram at the Pop XP. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you soon.